prolific, so gifted. I'm the type that's gon' go get it, no kidding. Breaking down a switch in front of your building. Sitting on the steps, feeling no feelings. Last night it was a cold killer. You gotta keep the devil in his hole. But you know how it go. I'm front line every time it's sold. 100 pro flow, run and shoot pro. 458 drop, playing bulletproof soul. Every few shows, I just buy some new gold. Circle got smaller, everybody can't go. Downtown Diamond District, jewelers like yo. Hustle, holla at me, I got Cubans on the low. Through the Cancun, smoking Cubans on the boat. Then dock that saloon just to smoke. Look, listening to music at the Mayan ruins. True devotion on the bluest ocean. Cruise. My cultural influence in the right. revolution. I'm integrated vertically, y'all blow it. They tell me hustle, dumb it down, you might confuse it. It's like that weirdo rap you motherfuckers choose to. I'm an urban legend, South Central in a certain section. Can't express how I curb the tactics. Guesses, evidence of a divine presence. Blessings, held me down at times I seem reckless. Effort, got an L but got an E for effort. Stretch me, dropped him off in the Mojave Desert. Then left me, ain't no answer to these trick questions. Money making nip, straighten out my jewelry on my dress. Well known, flick up in jail clothes, snatch a champagne bottle for Rich Trapper tapping in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm in. I think I'm in this business. All right, all right, all right. I got a lot of work to do today. I got a lot of work to do, huh? If you can hear me, press one. Press one if you can hear me. Look, I got a lot of work to do, a lot of production. And uh, I want to touch up on a few things here at Cabro University. You feel me? I want to touch up on where my screen at. Where my screen at? Hit that like button. Where my damn screen? At? I got. I want to touch up on Cavro University because. Oh my goodness. It seems Russia. Everybody's jumping on the bandwagon of Russia. And opening up these votes and exposing uh, the truth about who they conquered, who they overthrew. Just a few grandmas ago, they exposed the true royal family. Press one, they exposed it. They exposing all of the things that made before the fall. See, it's it, it's different. You, you can't just say. Oh, Christ, you you can't just come out and say, oh, Christ was black because there was no black press one at that time. There was no such term as no damn black as a nation of people at that time. So he wasn't just black. This ain't Tyreek Nasheed and all of these. These people are non-believers. Doctor, that, that will make every black conscious person a liar. Press one. It only it, it don't make it only ma it makes uh, modern day Christian Catholic folk imagery all idol worship. With that exposure, it makes you a liar. And if that's a Negro, that means you guys murdered and took down the royal house, literally. And you guys is the kingdom that the Bible spoke both about that was going to come against the nation. Oh, it's deep. Now I know why all those Nazis were stealing all of the artifacts and the pictures because they were taking them back to Russia, exactly where I said, who the Russian guard, Buffalo Soldier, Margaret Sanger, all of these people. That's them. All of my work. Press one. How Louis King, King, what, Edward, all of this is false. It's all about George. It's all about King George. It cannot leave the King George. So to me, this is a great time to be alive. Ah, this is one of the best times on earth to be alive. Uh, it'll make every Pan-Africanist crazy, all you people crazy, delusional. 
That's real art oil painting. That's Christ. Press one. We talking Christ here. <laughs> yeah, and our people was talking about what? What we talk? What? What? what what's in the black community? What we talking about? They got y'all attention gone, bruh. The first, first they got y'all. Look, it's the only black y'all know. The Russian guard. Press one. Got him, champ. That's your real Hitler, like folk right there. Remember that AI said, draw Hitler. Hitler looked like this guy. A Hindu, Indian, press one, Turk of the royal, uh, the royal guard. These are, these are Russian, Asian, black, Turkish, Hindus, all of, uh, what do they call that nationality? Aryan. It's an Aryan Asian. The double-headed eagle. This is their belief system. That's who invaded and stole all the artifacts. Took all the bones, took all the scrolls, even the buried bones. That's dealing with the Catholic Church. And you dying and, and going into, and the people going into a dead state, which would be black. You understand? Somebody said, it is the best time to be alive. We are living what our ancestors prayed to see. Shout out to Natalie Focus. Shout out to you, because you're absolutely right. That's what I mean, Natalie. That's why I was trying to encourage the brothers to like see Pat, but certain people can see, certain people can't. And Hopefully, people at the end of class, if you can't, you should have many questions. Many questions. For you not to have any questions means you are and have been propagandized in a way to, well, only Charleston White. Whenever you think of something, a question, Charleston White come in your head. Press me. <laughs> King gay gay 40s and so old, weak ass propaganda come in your brain. And it just takes you off of thinking about real things. The sister is absolutely right. This is what the people fail for. They, what I mean, when we fail, think about Lovecraft with the people burning like that. They knew this was coming. They knew a day will come where the truth will set us free, just like Scripture says. These people have totally genocided. You hear me? They have genocided God and Christ's people. That's why Hitler said what y'all say. Hitler said what he said. They have genocided them and enslaved the people, stole the bones, and y'all sitting back playing, listening to dumb shit. Listening to the dumbest shit in the world when I've been telling y'all this has been going on. And, uh, you know, I refuse to sit back every day. You know, Pino, I can do the corporate money shit, but I refuse to sit back every day and not do nothing. Yeah, I can do that, but I'm going to do this first. <laughs> you, you feel me? People got to be able to understand, bro. And you know that, like, okay. Kev just happened to have a gift of knowing this and doing it all. So fuck it. We roll, we rolling. But look, look at the dove over the head. Remember, we I told y'all Pino what the dove symbolizes. Anointing by God, but this is a white eagle, not a dove. So you see the Hamites or the, the Haitian or that's them right there, the Haitian. They be trying to say they uh, was the first rebellion. Y'all ain't nothing but of. The, the Russian guard, bro. You were part of Legion. A Africanus. Or, uh, well, well, <laughs> Africorps. You know, 
you guys colluded together to overthrow what you would call America in this theater that we know today. Because America, the USA, ain't nothing but a corporation that stay put forth by these people, ran by the church and the Lloyds of London. Again, Candace Owens' husband. You see, these are the murderers of Christ and the family, the royal family. That was here in the Americas. Here, what you call the America, that was here. All of Egypt and all that. That's all you can see that when you travel through U Utah, or Arizona, you start looking at these mountains real different when you start traveling somewhere and get off that little four block radius. Y'all niggas keep throwing up fingers on. You better be like Kev and get out there. Y'all don't want me hooking up with my students. Press one. <laughs> Y'all better come on. <laughs> we got to see the world, bro. This is crazy. And so the Russian is saying, the Russians is saying, look, the icons was not only just black. They are the royal family. They are. They're not just saying, oh, Christ was black. Oh, Christ was this. There's no nation called black. That was a real nation. That's the kings of, of kings things that they took over. And if you've been in my class, a lot of people are not. But if you've been in my class, then you would know that uh, the black icons of Russia, which we're going to be talking about and uh, discussing here. I want to play a video real quick of what I'm talking about so people get a greater understanding. You know, so God is real. And not only is he, is God real, the Bible is real. And it's not just a, a book for you to read like a comic book. It is real. This is what it's saying. This is what it means for them to do this. The Bible is real. It's a law book. It's a historical book of these people that have been enslaved in America. You see how the Jews are being exposed all over the world right now at its greatest? Because transitioning. That's why I've been trying to tell you. Natalie been trying to tell her people. Ali been trying to tell his people, get ready, y'all. Get It's coming. And we were too wrapped up. This is all. When we look at our people, we caught up in rap, hip hop, and, and all this, and don't see the reality of God. You, And then another nation do something like that. It lets you know May Sign, Candace Owens, Africa Bambada, these rappers, all of this shit is fake, bro. They've been turning us against God, bro. They let everything away. They like coup d'etat, the kingdom of God. That's how they feel because this is God's kingdom, right? So they feel like they coup d'etat, the kingdom, and tricked everybody from freedom and liberty and freedom, which everybody is coming to America or the kingdom for or the protection of the king, and they kind of like overthrew it. You feel me? Like through through harsh means, but again, getting back to the source, you know the overthrow. You got to know that the Messiah was not is not only a Negro; he is what you call an American Negro. You don't hear that from everybody. I said, who you think of as an American Negro? What you think an American Negro is? Christ is coming through that lineage. Wow, that's a powerful statement to make. <laughs> I'd like to hear your take on the Geneva Bible as has many chapters as most people have seen, such as the Book of Enoch. The Geneva, I, I, you know, if, if one can't truly understand uh, King James and understand the, the legal ramification of it, they will truly understand when you break all that down. That's why it was kind of like all these things was left out because the people kept finding themselves in idol worship and making gods out of planets and things of that nature. When it clearly says the fallen angels gave women makeup, right? How, I mean, what you can't get better than that. Not a space alien. Not this one. Not this one. So, you know, 
our people have a crazy way of of believing in vague thing and taking from scripture and the Bible and making their own religious constructs. Hence, Billy Carson and his hermetic principles of nothing. You, you feel me? So it's not that it's not true. It's the perception. You may be, that's why it's probably hard for people who read those books to talk to regular, but they like, nah, because the spectrum of understanding ain't there. They don't know you go to the, you don't, they don't know in your brain, Pino, you come to the you. You feel me? <laughs> and got a better perspective. Like, you killing them probably, you know. So that's probably why it's a little difficult as well, translating that because you gotta have the right perspective. But when this land here was formed and the Bible became ecclesiastical and Levitical law became set, and they amended the laws and things of this nature, they were removing the faces of the saints. They were moving and take down and removing. What y'all think is world fairs is not the world fairs. I keep telling y'all that's Centralia. But we're going to get back to that. That's not a world fair. That's Centralia. Hit the like button and subscribe. So, you know, <laughs> we, it, it's all good. But let me play these videos and hope the people understand what this, what this could mean. Because there's a lot of people doing these videos. I don't have to do them. We discussed these things before. So uh, we can just talk about, uh, talk about, because it, again, we're dealing with uh, pictures, really. Opening of icons, the icons of the past. interesting depictions in it a lot of them pertaining to the to the bible like right here this is the transfiguration of christ and you see it's it's black people in caves i believe is what it looks like it's black people on the whole picture but so what they did yeah, this is unbelievable with cold afros too look y'all <laughs> <laughs> As in gold, bro. Look like they picked those out. You feel me? You don't get the pictures like this. This is better than the Egyptian findings. Press one. Hit the like button. And this is better than the walls of Egypt because at least we can translate with our brain. At least white people like my man Pino can say, yeah, them some, them some niggas, man. Them niggas look like they from California or something, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> them ain't just don't act like they, them ain't Africans, you know them is, and look at the garments they're wearing Sir Lancelot in the front come on, come on and here come the Moors oh they're showing that Christ was a Moor now wait a minute Moors what you're not going to do is claim Christ all of a sudden what the hell are the Moors talking about oh man, Russia proves Christ was a <laughs> the world is hilarious, man. Hilarious. This is um knowledge that escapes. Did Vladimir Putin just show the world that Jesus Um it's definitely something that we would never see or never hear about in the educational system. Now, I'm pretty sure and what they was doing are, um, was using a form of whitewashing the portraits, removing layers and making the poachers white. I think that's what the Bible say. I'm going to find it. I think they was changing the faces thereof. Press one. <laughs> Let me Google it. <laughs> oh, no. Let the Bible be. The Bible never fails, bro. I mean, and covered the faces thereof or something like that. We're going to get to it. Black mm. history um, college students majoring in black history or world history. And they never seen nothing like this before. Mm -mm. At least not from the standpoint of Europe, you know. This is the crucifixion of Christ. 
Look how it was smeared yeah, over. We see, um, wow. Angels, mm -mm. black angels. Um, mm -mm -mm. The people surrounding him are black. It's very interesting. Look at the look at this Roman Empire. Contrary to what we have known our whole lives, or what we have been taught. Where's lives. Egypt? Where's Egypt? Press <laughs> what? Uh, 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 we kicking y'all ass. Egypt Coffee and Kush TV. You're the air. Go ahead. What's up, Kale? This B calling in. What's up, B? You know I had. When you said that scripture, I was already there. Uh, it's, it's none other than Job 9.24. See why Job is my, yes, my superhero. Go ahead, man. All right. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Ooh. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Wow. If not, where? And who is he? Wow. I'm like, wow. That's the, the read, Bible read is it real. Again so we can get to let the people know they need to feel that because the Bible is real. And I need and the people who ride with the road need to know we write over here. This is good food over here. Go ahead, King. Read it again. Yes, sir. It's Job chapter 9, verse 24. Go ahead. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's right. He, co he covered the faces of the judges thereof. That's right. Who is he? Yes, sir. So the the judges, they know the law. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, yeah. So yeah, they 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 it's there. It's scripture. Now we looking at it. We looking at it for sure. Wow. What are you thinking about when you see stuff like this? When you see uh not just ordinary blacks that this could have been a certain race of folk who lineages go back all the way back into this and this is the uncovering of it all go ahead i think uh one word premeditated you know already <laughs> so everything that you done and all of this stuff that's coming out they it's premeditated there was a premeditated coup and they put themselves in the place of god's people and they changed the face of Christ. That they, they wicked, just like the scripture said. Yeah, the, it they say wicked. what was given in the, in the, the earth was given in the hand of what? The wicked. Yeah, they say the earth was given in the hands of the wicked. Yes, sir. So, like that's that's exactly what they did, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what was going on. Mm -hmm. uh, she get wicked. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Just like uh, <laughs> my bad, <laughs> my, yeah, for my real. bad. But that's all that's, I hear, man. It should get wicked. Go ahead. For real, man. It's uh, San what, Bernardo uh, said they they would be the princeps, correct? Yes, sir, Bernardo. That's why I love my classroom, cause on different levels, like said, understanding a certain be understanding in the Bible the way we need to understand it, but said understand them precepts and the lawgivers and the people, the judges, the people who ordained the land and things of this nature, that, this all in play here. Go ahead, champ. Yeah, Kel, man. I'm just looking like, man, this weekend people uh, texting me and everything, and I'm like, they like, oh, man, you seeing this, B? Like, bro, we've been, I've been trying to tell y'all, you see what I'm saying? Like, Kelvin already broke it down. Like, Max. they talking about Vladimir Putin and, and and the Russian icons, and they saying they got all this out of a, a vote, you know? So, I'm like, man, y'all been what, hiding what we this talking information about? What from we the talking man. about the vote? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I told you it's time, so, man. It's time for real. we've been unlocking the truths for a minute, getting back to the vote. And what's in the vote? Christ is a black man with a black name who names were stolen and given into the hands of the wicked. Dawes, all everybody foreign, our lands was alienated, alienated correct? Yes, sir. Okay. They and they aliens. Okay. And they, <laughs> they aliens. That's why they, they talk about the aliens. And they are here. aliens. Yes, you are an alien, sir. 
they are definitely an alien. Yes. And like uh I was looking uh um I was looking at Ezekiel two. Go ahead. Uh Ezekiel thirty eight the thirty eight and thirty nine. I'm ahead. pull it up. Somebody said cool. Mars cool. attacks. Yeah. That is so true. Now you see, and they talking about themselves as aliens, and then they make you avatar and say the space people coming. <laughs> That's fucked up. Like they, they, they go put it in cartoon form. <laughs> like they're incompetent. They don't understand <laughs> that we can tell them right in their face. They, you, they not gonna you, get it. That's the shit that the propaganda machine ran by these people. That's what it does. People getting a glimpse of how the Jewish control media works. Yeah, they they will laugh at you in your face. That's how demonic. Yeah, and that's how face. wicked it is. Yeah. Candace Owens just said, <laughs> yes, uh, you know, the big thing about the kids and these people drink the kids' blood, they doing satire about how Jews do it. The Jews are doing it while in conflict with Palestine. This is some demonic shit going Man. on here. Go ahead, champion. Man, it, all right, it's gonna. All right, here we go. I'm gonna just let the script. All right, here we go. Let's say Ezekiel uh, 38. I'm gonna scroll 38 down. I'm gonna read 39. And the words of the Lord came unto me, saying, "Son of man, set thy face against God, the the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against them, and say, Thus said the Lord God." Behold, I am against thee, O God, That's right. the chief priest of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I, I will bring thee forth and thine army, horses, horsemen, and all them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with buckler and shield, and all them handling swords okay here we go persia ethiopia libya Look. with them and all <laughs> wait <laughs> read it right again <laughs> now you don't woke my speed up look at look at me i'm bro i'm looking at these pictures and listening to you read and i'm <clears> so <throat> mad and all i heard was ethiopia go ahead yep persia ethiopia libya that's right with them all them with shield and helmet kill. Oh my goodness. Oh, did y'all, uh, wait a minute. Read it again. Read it again. Verse, verse five, it says, That's, I'm going to start at four. Oh my and goodness. Will, this is the turn. eagle of Edom. Germany are what they would say Russia, but ger under Germany. Go ahead. Yes, sir. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws Come on. and will bring thee Four and That's all right. thine army, That's right. horses, horsemen, like a, and like all a them fisherman. clothed with like all a, sorts. Like a fisherman would. Put it, put this hook in your For lip, real. and I'm going to reel you in. Right. Yes, sir. right there, champion. Go ahead. It says, even a great company with buckler I told and you. shield That's and right. all of them handling swords. That's right. Persia. That's right. Ethiopia. Come on. And Libya That's with right. them, all of them with shield and helmet. Yo, so who got the shields and helmet? Gomer. We got them. Gomer, look, the sons of you Gomer. Got, Hold on, the sons of Gomer. You got them. I got them. Could you go to Genesis? He just said Gomer. Go back to Genesis ten. God is good yes, sir. to me. Yes, sir. Now look at God that. Is good all the time. All the time, Candace. Not God is good. God is great. Damn it. God is good all the time and all the time. All the time. God is good. Yes, sir. Go ahead. All right. Gomer uh -huh. and all his band. That's right. The houses of Togomar. That's right. Of the North Quarter. Come on. And all his band. Come on. And many people with thee. Mm -hmm. Be thou prepared and prepare for for thyself, prepare thee self thou, and all the companies that are assembled unto thee, be thou a guard unto them. Come on. After many days, mm. thou shalt be visited. In the latter years, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people. 
against the mountains of Israel, which is which have been also wasted, but it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Thou and thy bands and many people with thee. Those, I mean, thus saith the Lord God, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall, shall things come into thy mind and thou shalt think evil th an evil thought. That's right. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land and um, while, and I will go up to a land of unwild villages and I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates, to take a spoil, to take a prey, to turn thy hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited. Now uh, it says, and upon the people no, that no, are no, no, gathered no. out Genesis of the nation. 10. Genesis 10? Yeah. We're talking about on, Gomer. Ready? We're talking about Gomer. Yes, sir. All right, then. They said Gomer, right? Okay, so Let's do it. Genesis yeah. 10. Go. Let me get the Genesis 10. Mm-hmm. Yep. Can they explain who Gomer is real quick? But you understand this was, we just talked about Gomer. What was Gomer that you just read? Gomer was with all the people that was coming against and into the land. All right, with, then, with, then, uh, then it's important to know who they is and who they kids would be, right? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Go all you, right. go ahead, read. All right. All right, Genesis 10, it says, And these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Noah, Shem Ham, and Japheth. It says, unto, unto them are the sons born after the flood. All right, Genesis, all right, verse 2, the sons of Japheth, Gomer. Now, hold up. Mega. Who? who? <laughs> Gomer. Now, go ahead. Mega. Mega. Uh. Madai, that's right. Javin, uh huh. Tubal, go ahead. Meshach, go ahead. Tyrus. Now watch this. One. It says, and the. You still hello? I said, I said. Now watch this one. Go there ahead go. to three. All right, and three, and the sons of Goma, Ashkenaz. Stop right there. And stop right there. Yes, sir. Now who is Ashkenaz? Ashkenazi Jew. That's right. That's doom. Yes, sir. Nazi. Yes, sir. The Nazi. Say it. The Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. Say it with That's Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. Now you know Ashkenazi. who the Nazis are. You now do you sons hear me? They are the sons of Gomer. They are with the, the Persian. See? Yeah. See? Yep. The, the Persian. And who else? The Ethiopian. That's the right. Libyan. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Is that leaving out? Uh, 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 who do I say? Selassie? Nah, he right there in the middle. He That's say, right. Ethiopia. Persia, Ethiopia, That's Libya, right. with them. With them. With them. With them. You know that All mean of them I'm with, with them. shield and helmet. That. <laughs> Just like them pictures. <laughs> with them. With shield and helmet. With shield. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the Bible ain't like real, real. Now you see how they in the Bible. Yes, sir. So you're not just asking. Right now you are the sons of Gomer. You are not Jew. You have stolen the birthright of who the Jews are in the Bible to to offset uh, 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 to do many things actually, but to really steal their inheritance. Yes, sir. Yes. Dolls false wrote, claiming. That's what false they call it in the hood. That's right. So the sons <laughs> false of claiming. false claiming wearing the rags that don't belong to you, sir. Um, 
<laughs> in the biker's world, don't be wearing Hell's Anger uh, Angel's patches and not think they're going to pull up on you and rip it off. Because you're false flagging. For real. You, you're false flagging right false. now. Yup. Yes, sir. So they're all Aryans. Shout out to Shiva. She said, that's all Aryans. Yep. So all if they're Aryan. all Aryans, Aryan race, Aryan nation, that's white supremacy. Yep. Ah! Yes, sir. Oh, I'm, yes, sir. I'm like Neo in this bitch. Go ahead. The yes, sons sir. of okay, Gomer. Okay, is Ashkenazis. The sons of Gomer. Well, that's all. We don't even got no That's no the further. first one. The first one is, is the For Nazis. Real. Is the Nazis so you right got, there, you got Ashkenazi. Gomer and the ones who destroyed you and the sons of Gomer is who? The Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. Sepharic Jews and the Jews on the land. You know what that means? Moors are the Sepharic Jew. They're under the Pope. Yeah. Yes. Moors yes, are under the Pope. So, no, Christ wasn't a Moor. You are, sir. And you came against yep. God more, my Haitian and African brother, and the Legion. I'm trying to, I'm trying to slip in there again. They trying with to the slip. Yeah, but they don't believe in God. They don't know too much about God and law. Now they're done. They have no standing. They made a pact with the corporation, the, the, the Satan. They made a deal with the devil to overthrow the kingdom. A more. Exactly. Yes. They helped Christopher Columbus. <laughs> they was on the ship they right, was there, right point, there with them, pointing point it out. All 400, all them damn slaves right there ready to go. Pointing them out. There it is right yep. there. There they go. They were out here. They serving God, chilling. Here we come. <laughs> For real. Man, they so nice. They got, yep. they got beautiful things. They're pirates. Y'all notice how it all lines up with it? So the Bible is real. And they, don't like, and, and they don't like the Bible because it exposes them. Anybody who can translate the Bible to you can have the ability to expose God's enemies who came against his son. So that when the son returned, we'll get to that. We'll get to it. Go ahead, King. And you, you're free to speak about whatever you like. Man, kill just... It's calling them out by name. That that's why they hate it. That's right. It's called by name. By name. Y'all say hey, ask Kanan, sons of Goma, Gog and Magog. Y'all it's y'all. And then it even named the people that's with them. That's, that's with them. How you gonna say the that's with them? Didn't I show y'all the Ethiopians the with the Nazi garbs? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Afrocorps. Afrocorps. Right That's here, new. right here in the scripture. Oh my. Afrocorps. And everything they did, and then the reason why they 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 trying to uh, like Job said, cover the, the faces of the judges. That's there, right. Uh, just like that. So all that's I, all that is, and then it's talking about all the nations being gathered together. On the sons of Israel. United in, Nations. In yes, sir. And then don't they fly as an eagle? Aren't yes, they all in collusion yes. to keep and take the names and make it their own by way of Catholic Church? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the Bible isn't lying. Everything. The Bible ain't God is with us. For real. For this, real. Yeah, this is for real. For real. This ain't your mama. Your mama can't tell you this. It don't matter what our forefathers said. They didn't have the internet. They don't know Russia, this was coming. You know, our, our forefathers, you know, they, they, you know, unfortunately we got caught up in, in Joe Biden's crime wave and Bill Clinton, Clinton's drug running abilities. Go ahead. And like you said, like we got a wealth of knowledge. I did. I looked up something, uh, I looked up something uh, when I was like, man, who is God and they God right now? Which, which we you just proved. But even in Wikipedia, we're talking about a wealth of knowledge, it even tell us that who, who they are. I'm going to shoot this picture to you real quick. 
I want to give a shout out to three people who support this broadcast today. This this subject matter of the most revealing information and connections on YouTube is brought to you by my great supporters, Deborah Nichols, Jason Harris, and Cedric Jefferson. God bless y'all. Go ahead, champion. All right, I'm getting information right extra. now. This shit is this shit is crazy. Go ahead. And no. All right. You got uh Gar Garg and Magog. It says uh the question is where is Garg and Magog today? It says uh interpretation uh did not generally continue after classical times, <laughs> but the needs of the modern world have produced a new body of apostolic literature in which Gog and Magog are identified as communist Russia oh, my and good. China. Oh, I told you. <laughs> Russia and China. Yes, Asian sir. people. Asian Communism, people. bro. Marxism. Yes, bro. sir. Yes, sir, bro. Got him. Got him again. Them. Damn. Got him again. Got him again. Damn. All right. So the Asians... Uh, the Persian, the uh, uh, the Ethiopian. Ashkenazi, the uh, Ethiop, all of these nations, India, the Libyans, Hindu. they all together. Yes, oh sir. my goodness! Go ahead, champion. I'm like, uh, they try to put it in history and talk about the Mongols. That's right. And then uh, I, they even had it. So uh, that's why uh, Genghis Khan got a million, he got a million yeah. billions of bones stacked all the way to heaven. Yes, as sir. high as mountains, they but it really I. was the, the skull and bones. And what I broke down about how Russia and Asia attacked us and genocided our people. Asians over here right now off of your dollar claiming we, we forced them to run railroad. And Russia is right up in here tomorrow. Yeah, man, they sure did. We enslaved them, though. The Indians is getting paid. Asia getting paid. Russia getting paid. Germany, everybody getting paid. But us. Except for us. That's right. Yes, sir. All of reparations yes, sir. go to everybody else. And you sitting up on the internet, running your mouth, and there's a there's a, a algorithm that needs to be caught in this world, and you better get with it. Go ahead, champion. And then you can see how they try to put, they, they push the sympathy, the sympathy for the Ashkenazi. That's right. Sympathy for, uh, you know, Asian That's hate. That's right. But the like, real Jew, man, but the real home. Jew, but the real Jew in Christ was you. The real yes, Christ sir. was of our lineage. The real, that mean God yes, is, is of, uh, uh, we are of God, bro. I told y'all God took you on his land and breathed life in you. Don't let nobody remove you and call you no uh, middle of four different directions or call you out your name. You are called by your father's name. You God's people. Go ahead. Yes, sir. That's why the they matrix, put you and they put you in the matrix and a false sense of matriarch and all these women around on this goddamn earth got a false sense of ego and a false sense of what love is and they destroyed our sisters brought our men down, took our names, and gave it to all foreigners, and they invaded our nation. Hit the like button and support the real. Go ahead, B. Fuck that. All right, look, check this out, kid. I want kid. my bread, bro. All I'm right. tired of being, I'm on, I'm on a ride. For real. I need a low rider. I want, I I want, want mine, mine too. For bro. real. Nah, bro, I'm tired. <laughs> nah, bro. For real. <laughs> Hating on us every day. <laughs> talking <laughs> crap. <laughs> Hey, peek this, kill. Look, all right, look. I, said, I don't see <laughs> the mountains. I may not get there with you. For real. <laughs> but I'm, gonna I'm get getting there with night. you. I'm going. <laughs> but you're going to know. I'm going to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> These people are insane. <laughs> what the fuck is y'all doing? Go ahead, B. All right, look. I pulled up Magog and Wikipedia, Oh, kill. my goodness. They got this picture. They is some... Like man, of course they got the uh they got a, a cover of the faces there, but all these wild people they build in the wall to keep them out. Out. Keep them out, out. not in. Not keep in. them out. out. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm gonna read this real we quick. We need we it's, need a wall to keep everybody out, like the Great Wall of America, not China. Because we got to protect African-American. Global America. That's right. Yes, sir. 
So if I was we, the, we, the, the black leader, I would build a wall. We need to protect black Americans in our cities and our states. Press one. We need affirmative real. action today, not tomorrow. Today. Candace Owens tried to get rid of affirmative action. Shout out Candace, dumbass. Go ahead. She she's from the islands. She from the she islands from and, her, and her and, and, and her husband is a who? Is a Lloyd of London, a robber baron. A robber. Like you told this, <laughs> a straight robber baron. We, we don't call you. y'all by y'all name. We ain't going to say white man or nothing. Don't tell me about the Illuminati. Tell me who. And then we going to make they shit worse. Go ahead. For I'm real. tired of the damn okay, Illuminati here we go, kid. taking all the blame. And, and Yale University just told you it was a black genocide in America. And y'all sitting around worrying about who's snitching. Y'all can tell on each other. I'm trying to get us paid. You feel me? And not just paid. I'm trying to set y'all heart right and let y'all know God has been with us and waiting on you. On you. The whole world is waiting on you to wake up. Y'all better go watch Never Ending Story tonight or something. Get y'all some imagination and some love and feelings and invoke something. But y'all faith is about the size of a grain of dirt or some shit. Go ahead. Y'all need to get it together. All this singing and dancing and I believe in God and all that. You just about to celebrate Easter. Shut the fuck up. Y'all don't want to believe in God. Go ahead. Y'all want to believe in Catholicism. Chilling with the Cadbury bunny. (laughs) 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 Straight up. That's a little super happy. See, that's why I need people like you in my damn life. Because I be so mad. (laughs) But not mad. It's it's so serious. If it ain't you, it's King Kush or DJ. So I thank God for y'all. Because like Tupac said, you got to smile. Shit finna get deep. It is it's already there. Look, here, all right, I'm going to read this. Okay, look. This is uh, talking about Gog and Magog. Uh-huh. All right, in Ezekiel 8, Gog is an individual and uh, Magog, they're saying, is a land. By the time of the New Testament, uh, Revelations 20, verse 8, uh, they going to talk about Jewish tradition, had long since changed Ezekiel's Gog uh, from Magog into Gog and Magog. All right, then they show that depiction uh, of them keeping people out. All right, it says the God prophecy is meant to be fulfilled at the at the approaching time of what is called the end of days. Oh, it that's says, Cairo's uh, time. Oh my goodness. Cairo's time. Oh my yes, sir. goodness. Y'all in trouble. Y'all in trouble. Yes, sir. Y'all don't messed up and they care, find out about Cairo's. I'm over here teaching my little cousin G Stacks in my YouTube page. He tripping. He probably like, I knew this nigga was going to find all this. I know. Hey, I want to give a shout out to my little cousin G Stacks. I know you didn't know I was this smart. I know you didn't know I was this smart, little cuzzo. But go ahead, B. They never do. They never do. I, but oh. he ain't here every day, though. That's why I love my little dog. Because he'll be here for years. Hey, he, he in here. Shout yeah. out to Kimfo. Yeah, yes, shout sir. out to Kimfo. My casa cousin. Like Tupac say, go ahead. <laughs> All right. It says, the God prophecy is meant to be fulfilled at the, appro- at the approach of what is called the end of days. Uh-huh. But not necessarily... Not necessarily the end of the world. Uh, Jewish eschatology views Gog and Magog as enemies to be defeated by the Messiah. That's right. It says, Come on. Which would who gonna defeat him? Who gonna in defeat the him? age who gonna of the Messiah. Who going to defeat him? The Messiah. That's right. The Messiah. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. No, he Which gonna. Th- this is the craziest. This <laughs> if y'all. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to laugh. <laughs> but uh, it's crazy though. Like y'all gonna just say that y'all gonna get defeated. Y'all, y'all play. They ain't think we was gonna. Who, who gonna the only it. one that can God defeat them? Who the only one? The Messiah. Can can another country the defeat Messiah. these these folk? Hell no. They owe them everything. No. Y'all indebted to China. Yeah. You indebted to Russia. You you indebted to Adam. You indebted to the Pope. You indebted. You need to be redeemed. Press one. Yes, sir. Yeah. They have jurisdiction over you. They have jurisdiction but over not, you. Yes, sir. That's right. But not 
not the Messiah. No, they don't have All jurisdiction right, over the Messiah. That's God's son. He was born yes, king. He was born of the lineage of the republic. He was born to serve the people. You, you can't take nothing from him. No, that's a real person. Yes, sir. That's not that's not flying around like, the universe in Anunnaki world. I'm sorry to it's make y'all real life. I'm sorry to make y'all be so serious. <laughs> <laughs> but it's real. <laughs> hey, look, when you say he was the born king, I almost started. A seven way king. Oh. <laughs> the champion of the Straight world, up. bro. They, they, they got they got us yes, messed sir. up, as they say. They got us messed up. Go ahead, King. Okay. It says uh Gog and Magog uh view Gog and Magog as enemies to be defeated oh, by the Messiah. That's right. Which would usher in the age of the of Messiah. The Messiah. No time. Yes, sir. One view within Christianity is more starkly apostolic, uh making Gog and Magog here uh indicating nations gathering, I mean get nations rather than individuals, allies of Satan against God at the end of the millennium. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Nation, in the book nations, of Revelation. Now, wait a minute. Nations as individuals. Nations rather than individuals. Got you. Allies of Satan. Oh, my against goodness. Against God. Against allies. And, <laughs> and they had a whole theater war. Huh, Pino, talking about the allies and how they defeated allies. the God. Ah, 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 ah. They so dumb. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't die with, back, with patches on their arm with artillery shells going off in cemetery across on Vietnam Day or Veterans Day. And these are all allies to Satan. That's how, that's how you know. That's how you know that I am different. Crest one. Yes. We talking different over yes, here. Sir. Yeah, there's a different knowledge here. Go ahead, King. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, um, ind uh, indicating nations rather than individuals, uh, allies of Satan against God at the end of the millennium mm. and describe as described in the book of Revelation. Mm. Uh, all right. Here they go. Uh, a legend was attached to God and may God by the time of the Roman period that the gates of Alexander were erected by Alexander the Great to repel the tribe. Romanized Jewish historian Josephus knew them as the nation uh, descended from Magog, the Japhite. The, the as Japanese. In Genesis. Uh, the, like the sons of Japheth, the Japhites, like in Genesis. Oh my goodness. And all right. It's, it says, and explain them to be the Scythians. It says, in the hands of the early Christian writer, they became apostolic uh, hordes. Uh, throughout the Middle Ages, they were uh, various, they were uh, variously identified as Vikings. Hun. Hun. I did, did, why? How? Kaisar. So, so, so now wait, cars are, now wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, so AI uh -huh. is correct. Boom, nigga. Yes, sir. So AI was yes, correct. Sir. AI exposed everybody, bro. Go ahead. They can Yes, sir. Uh, Vikings, Huns, Kaisars, Mongols, <gasps> wow. and other nomads. Wow. Even the ten lost tribes of Israel. It says the legend of God and Magog at the gates were also uh interpolated into Alexander romances. So according to <coughs> there, one there, there is only 12 tribes, so the 10 lost tribes would be the 10 nations who stole the birthright. Go ahead, King. They included themselves yes, as tribes. We, we were lost. Go ahead. Yeah, like I, we can we related. They, they all became Israel. Yeah. It's probably 10 nations that claim Israel. Russia, Germany, Ashkenazi, but all of these different nations say we're Israel together. Go ahead. We were lost. Okay, here we go. According to one interpretation, Goth and Magoth are king are the kings of the unclean nations oh, whom Alexander goodness. drove through a mountain pass and uh, prevented them uh, uh, prevented them from crossing his new wall. 
Magog, Magog and Magog are said to, listen to this, Kill. Gog and Magog are said to engage in human cannibalism oh, in the romances and the river. Oh, <laughs> yes, my sir. goodness. I told you, necromancer that, eating people. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. That's it. Human cannibalism. Yes. Uh, it says in the, the uh, romances oh, and derived goodness. literature. They have also been depicted on medieval cosmological maps uh, or Matthew Moody some, uh, sometimes alongside Alexander's Wall. Uh, that part right there, I had to read because it, it, it was like, man, it, it said exactly what we've been talking about, human cannibalism. Okay. Uh, the, the, the conflation of Gog and Magog with the legend of Alexander and the Iron Gates or uh, dissemin or was disseminated throughout Northeast in the early centuries of Christian and Islamic area era. They appear uh, in the Quran in chapter. Oh in, my goodness! In chapter Al Kaf <laughs> as chapter what? Yajiu. Wait, say it again. I can fucking write it down. Al say it so I can write it down. What is it? Uh, in the Quran, in chapter Al Kalf. In chapter Al Kalf. Uh, Go ahead. Alpha Kalpha. Go ahead. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is as Ali, Yazu Ali said, and this is, Ali said this is bug language. I hate when my chat room. For real, he straight up. <laughs> but they turn, right about they that. fucking oh. bugalos come out of nowhere. I think that's bug language, sir. <laughs> Just fucking motherfucker. <laughs> Because <laughs> they sound they like some me up, I'm like, ah, oh, damn. <laughs> I can talk. You know, you well, straight, they got me coming sick. from Al Cal. <laughs> if I was, I'm <laughs> telling y'all, if I was in the bungalows and my teacher was up here saying something, I, I would have looked straight at DJ and be like, you, what type of word is that? <laughs> I, I'll be like, man, I'm not going to even look at kids because I'm going to put this last. Don't and I know what time it is. Don't even look at me. And it's hard not to look at Kev in the really? back of the classroom because you know I'm trying to avoid y'all all looking at me. So uh, shout out to the bungalows. I really love y'all for this silly shit. He said this is bug language, but it truly is. Go ahead. Could you read a little bit more Alpha Cal for me? All right. It, uh, they said they described them in the Quran as Somebody uh, said it's, excuse, me. It's cute. Excuse me. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said I think it means all caps. Oh, God. These people are stupid. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Okay, they describe them as primitive oh. and immoral tribes that were separated and buried off by walls, whatever that is. Uh, but they call them he of two horns. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> who, who is mentioned in the Quran as a great righteous, I mean, a great righteous ruler and conqueror. What? So they throw So the uh, Quran I, the, with two horns, that's the devil. That's that. So they saying the devil is a great <laughs> righteous <laughs> Please, ruler. So y'all down ah, with him. Yeah. Y'all telling on y'all so. Got him. The great, the great leader with two horns. The great, well, huh? Loki? Go ahead. Exactly. Some contemporary Muslim historians and geographers refer, I mean, regarded the Vikings as the uh, emergence of God and May God. So I'm like, man, kill. That's that's. So they got they mad because the shit. Bible, I mean, AI identified them as in the Bible. The, P the Vikings and the rest of these people, these are all people who came against God's people. After Gog, then the children of Gog, uh, of Gomer, uh, and the Persian, and the, the people who came with them, the Ethiopian, and and and, and the many more you read off. Go ahead. Yes, sir. And they got a list of them right here. Uh, <laughs> identify. Identi uh, I just want to say y'all are in trouble when it is it hit different when they got a list of you. Go ahead. For real. 
All right, identification. Barbarian and nomadic identifications. Uh, throughout classical and uh, late antiquities, Christian and Jewish writers identify Gog and Magog with a wide diverse diversity of groups. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness, a bunch of y'all. Romans. Oh. The Romans, this identification was made by Eusebius, all right? The Goths, uh, Gog and Magog were connected with the Goths by, uh, by Ambrose and uh, Jordan. Uh, the, the Ambrose and some Jordans, that, what? Go ahead. That's what I was, <laughs> my brain, I'm my not, brain I'm bro, I know I didn't, I didn't just hear y'all. that. These little made up names yes, sir. And spell casting on us. Go ahead. All right. It says the latter believed the Goths, the Scythians, the Amazons were all the same. Am- the Goths okay. also, yes, sir. Okay. The Goths also uh, represented Gog and Magog in the, uh, it says in the E and the Y recessions of Alexander Romance. When the term God and Magog formed a uh, a portmanteau with God and with God and Magog, okay, the Scythians, the Scythians are, were identified. Scythians. Yes, sir. Scythians. How you spell that so um, I can get a, pic- a, a picture from Google AI department? A Scythian. How you spell? Okay. S C Y T H I. Uh huh. S C Y T H I A N S. All right. The Scythians were identified by Josephus, Jerome, Jordan, uh, Theodore, Mopsatia, and uh, a couple of others. Oh, All they right. got the Smurf hats. Got, uh, they got the little Smurf hats. They were the sword. They everything that's uh, in the Bible. That, yes, sir. Oh, y'all in trouble, man. And all y'all the just... people that came up against us. Oh, bruh. I play video games and use these types of characters. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Like, like those would be Dang, the people <clears throat> on Lord of the Rings, those little those little dwarf dudes. The that little hobbit. <laughs> Something of, of like that, yeah. They real, they they're not small. It's more like the tra- tradition, you know, the tradition of it, rather than an appearance. But yeah, those people who was protected, All right. those people who work in the mountains in here, mountain men. But that, that's where they was coming from, kid. All right, look. All right, it says the the Sarmatanians. So, and the uh, uh, the Allens identified by Josephus. All right, uh, you got the Huns, the Byzantine writer uh, Cro- Crocipius. All right, we got uh, half the half the identified by M- Moses. Man, this is another. Uh, Kaka, Kaka Hansen, Hansen, I can't even say that. I ain't gonna even try, kid. But uh, you got the uh, the High Wars and the Mygars identified by uh, Is- Isidore and uh, Theodore Sinkalisos. You got the Turks in Islamic tradition. The uh, the following author identified Gog and Magog. As the Turks, wow! So yeah. they, they all together. The Black Turks, all right, Kaiser. All of these, yeah, the Shriners with the hat, monkey hats. Yes, sir. The Black Turks. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 Mason. Uh, is right with yep. Adam Twenty Two and 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 Vlad TV. They're, that's Gog and Magog and and Magog. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, uh, China Mac. <laughs> Uh, Hassan Campbell. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, oh, oh my God. Oh, dude. Y'all dog and my God. Oh, gotcha. Yes, sir. 
We can leave your father here. Billy Carson. For real. Um, like you. Uh, what's the other one that hang out with that be going around talking? The other one, the other Billy Carson guy that be always having a uh, uh, 19 keys. 19 keys. All of these people. God can make up. That, that, yeah. And, they, the and their teachings are against Christ. Yes, sir. They can't, they can't say, oh, yes. they just found out Christ was real. And everything y'all teach is of the devil. So go serve. Go ahead, King. Yes, sir. All right, we said the church. We got the Kaisars. Yes, yeah, sir. Those Mongols the Mon and Tartars. Damn, the, the who? The Tartarians. The Tartarians. The Tartarians. The Tartarians. The Tartarians they was bro. identified by uh, Matthew Paris, Marco Polo. Damn. These are y'all historians. They identified y'all. Uh, yes, sir. Damn. The Dang. The Constitution of the Barbarous is that identifies them also. The, I the, says the others. Okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. You got others. A Western monk named uh uh Frigar seems to have the God have uh -oh. God the May God. Hold on, in let me mind. stop right there. Let me uh, stop right there. Who's yes, the sir. God who, All right. who is Tataris? That's Satan. I want all yes, my sir. classroom to, while he talking, Google Tataras in Google Images and look at it. Just look at it. Go ahead, champion. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Ruler of the underworld. So, that, that's the, oh. they get the ruler of the underworld. Oh. Dang, Shit, bro. That's bro. Uh, So Tatar ain't nothing but a nation full of demons. And Tataria, Tatarians are demonology. They're all demon worshippers. It's the world. It's true. Yes, sir. Now, we got them in uh in the modern we got them here in modern times. They got them in uh, it says uh in uh in the early 19th century, all right, this this, this our timeline, kill. It says, "Oh my goodness, some, here we go." Yes, sir. Some Hasidic rabbis identify the French As who? <laughs> invasion of Russia. I told you under Napoleon as the War of Gog and Magog. Oh my goodness! But wow, it says. But as the century progressed. Apostolic uh, expectation receded as the uh, populace in Europe began to adopt an increasingly secular worldview. This has not been the case in the United States, where a uh, 20, uh, 2002 poll indicates that 59% of Americans believe that the events uh, predicted and the book of revelations would come to pass during the cold war war the idea that the soviet uh, the soviet russia had the role of god gained popularity since ezekiel's words describe him as the prince of meshach rose meshach in hebrew sound sounded uh suspicious like russia in Moscow, uh, Roland Reagan also took up the idea. Some post Cold, -Cold War uh, millennial millionaires still identify God with Russia, but they now tend to uh, stress its allies among Islamic nations, especially Iran. For the most fervent and countdown to armageddon began with the return of the jews to israel which quickly by further signs pointed to the nearness of the final battle they said nuclear we nuclear weapons uh european european integration israel's reunification of jerusalem in the six-day war 
in uh, 1967, the America's War in Afghanistan and the Persian Gulf. In the Islamic apostolic tradition, the end of the world would proceed by release of God and Magog, whose destruction by God in a single night will usher in the day of resurrection. Uh, reinterpretation did not generally continue after classic times, but the needs of the modern world uh, have produced a new body of apostolic literature in which Gog and Magog were identified as communist Russia and China. One problem with these writers have had to confront is the barrier holding Gog and Magog back which is not to be found in the modern world. The answer varies. Uh, some writers have, have sayings that Gog and Magog were Mongols and that the wall is gone now. Others have both the wall and Gog and Magog are invisible. But they, they trying to make different theories, but it's clear. It's straight clear from the Bible to to all the different people who identify them. It's it's pretty much clear. You still there, Kel? Oh yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just listening to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like that's the end of end of that, but it's pretty clear. Like y'all identified the Bible already identified them and and, and they named and who they are yes. and who riding with them yes. and everything. Yes. And then we can see it in history. Yes. Cause you taught us about how all these people riding together. Yes. You got the Ethiopians, just like the Bible says. Yes. You got the Moors. Now the how Turks. did Ethiopians end them. up end up with the Kings of Kings and the crown to give to the queen of England to become King of the world. Stolen, stolen, Straight. everything stolen from here. Yes, sir. And Stolen. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. They they false claiming, like we saying. And they made like, God's man, people dead in law. And they thanking yes, people sir. for made their sacrifices for them to be free. What? Stolen valor. Yes. And then yes, started sir. amending Supreme Court uh, Supreme laws and amending them to bound and restrict. God's people from even become competent. So they could rule over God's forever. people. Forever. Yes. And it got us stuck in the wheel. Yes. Not yes, understanding sir. that I'm like, wow. you have to understand. You just understand it at a, at a lawful perspective as well as a spiritual perspective. Go ahead. Yeah, Kev, I'm like, man, everybody is in the uproar of what's going on. But like you said, like everybody's saying, what you always say, man, it's the best time to be alive because we get a chance to see these things. Like we just read it in the Bible and then, bam, we can see it in real life. It's, it's, it's for real. It's for real. So they let us know, like you said, God been with us this whole time, and we just got to get ourselves right. And what we'll, what you doing is what it's saying in Ezekiel: speak out against it, cry out against them. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. So so, I'm somebody, like, man. somebody in the chat room wrote: first American Aboriginals, America, Chocolate, always been here, never came here. Well, that's cool, but there's there wasn't aboriginals. Aboriginal doesn't mean you're God's people. Aboriginal is like a foreigner claiming to be original. Even in the term aboriginal is is abnormal, meaning not normal. It's so aboriginal means yeah. not original. So David Bell, stop with the aboriginal. Stop with the always been here. If if you don't have an understanding and can speak for God and have a, a, a straight dialect, don't put no emojis in my chat room. Thank you for his glory for blocking him. Because I, I really can't do that with 
uh, with men who just here to put emojis in my chat room when there's so much information coming across. You know, um, it'd be it'd be most of the people that don't support at all that that do things that just feel like this is one of those chat rooms. It's not. It's Cabral University. It's an honor to even hear this type of people talking about this in this manner. So appreciate that. And if you can't, Mr. Bell, then you, like right now, you're just going to get removed. Go ahead, champ. Yeah, okay. You know, like, man, it's so important. Like, man, I'm trying to, I'm looking at Ezekiel again uh, at verse 39 because it's talking about these people. If I, it's talking about them some more. Uh, let's see. I don't want to make it bored. I'm trying to get to the point uh like and to describe them to the T and what they what they doing in the land, how God feel about it, everything. Let's see. Um Why you looking for that? They say all of these icons and jerk and art stuff comes from Kemet. And it, it was really Kemet who come on, bro. Where where's the where's your artwork? Where's where's your stuff? Ain't no Kemet. Go ahead, King. For real, like why y'all here? Why are you here, bro? Go to Kemet, man. Go on home. <laughs> For real, ET phone home, bro. Go on, go home, man. They miss you, bro. <laughs> That's why I'll be like, man, why y'all gotta get everything, bro? Why they, you know, like golly, y'all cut it out, man. For real. All right, look, Kim. I don't want. I'm gonna go to chapter thirty nine. Go ahead, Kim. And uh, I'm gonna start at thirteen. It says, "And yeah, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be to them a a renown the day that I shall be glorified," said the Lord God. It says, "And they shall sever out men of." Uh, continually employment passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain among upon the face of the earth to cleanse it after uh, the end of the seven months shall they search shall they search all right 15 it says in the passengers that pass through at the land when they see the men's bone they shall set up a sign by it till the barriers have buried it in the valley of Hamana. All right. Uh, I'm finna, all right. It says, and also the name of the city was Hamon, and thus shall they cleanse the land. 17. It right. says, and thou, son of man, thus said the Lord, speak unto every feathered fowl, that every beast of the field come on. assemble themselves and come. Gather them, gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice upon the mountain of Israel, that ye may eat flesh and drink blood. All right? It says, ye shall eat the flesh of the mighty, Drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of the rams, the the lambs, and of goats, of bullocks, and all them that uh, fatlings of Bashan. And ye shall eat fat till ye be full, and drink blood till ye be drunk of my sacrifice, which I have sacrificed for you. Thus ye shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, and mighty men and all the mighty of war said the lord and i will set my glory upon the heathen and all the heathen shall see my judgment that i have executed and my hand that i have laid upon them so the house of israel shall know that i am the lord their god for that day and forward and the heathen shall know that i that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. Now wait a because minute. Because they ahead. Yes, go, sir. Go ahead, champ. This makes yes, perfect sir. sense. Go ahead. 
Yes, sir. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity because they trespassed against me. Therefore, I hide my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So they fell all by the sword wow. according to their uncleanliness, according to their transgression. Wow. Have I done unto them and hide my face from them? Wow. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name, for that they have borne their shame and all their transgressions whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' hands and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations, then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them any any more there. There it says, neither will I hide my face from them, and I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, said the Lord. But yeah, Kill. That was like when I re when I was reading that, I was like, man, that's all the stuff that was happening to our people. Yeah. Talking about so, the bones so and who, everything. So so in reality, you gonna know this you're going to obey God unless you want to go through this again. Yeah, straight up, kill. Straight God up. God isn't coming to give you yeah. a high five. This is destruction. And everything not yes, lining up with the word is going to die. Yeah, he not playing. He for real. I don't know what he God our, our parents thought this was or if they thought this was a game and only go to church and all it is and all is deep. And what was done to, to Christ, the people, why they were put into captivity, why they were utterly destroyed, why the land was given into the hand of the wicked, why Gog and Magog was brought together against thee. Or have to do with this timeline of events and this truth that we're talking about here. Yes. You, it's easy to say we were the first organic people, right on but why did you fall? It's easy to put an emoji with a turtle and a goddamn bow and arrow and say we was the first and we was a Victorian and we did this. You also stopped believing in God and started serving other gods and giving way to things that make God turn his blessing away from you. And when that blessing is gone, your enemies is right there. So he put your enemies in position. And are they drinking blood and eating flesh? Yes, sir. Okay, then. He said eat flesh and drink. <laughs> That's really, I ain't going to leave a lie. I was like, wow, man. That's everything we in. Dang, what, are, what are we in? What world are we in right now? Where your leaders are, do what? Okay, then. So let the world be the world. And the whole world is waiting on you to return, but not like here, here y'all go. No, they don't want to stop. This is going to hurt Gog and make Gog not to be able to eat flesh and live as kings and queens as somebody in your eye. It hurts for the whole world to come and look at you like, man, y'all are truly God's people. But yeah, it's coming at the end of this. And yep. you, you don't want to be a person just talking and watching, watching glorious events go down, and you not and you not understanding why you not because you have a a mind, uh, a, a corrupt mind. You think that God's word and His lineage and and our history is a magic book in a in a in a goddamn theater somewhere you can make Marvel comics out of this shit. You don't even y'all don't even know how to thank God and and pray correctly. This is it's got wild. Why? Because China man. <laughs> and his homies and his came friend, over here. That's right. Been let loose. For real. They he gave you a loose. mathematical so. equation to what 
spirituality is. You believe in God, Gog and Magog science. You believe in any form of their spiritual belief system. That's why you sitting there with your chakras open. You sitting up there mm-hmm. throwing coins, <laughs> throwing coins at the Buddha, and sitting in that position in front of the nail shop. You don't believe in God. You don't believe in this God, the God that's bringing this horror, because you're afraid to believe in that God, because this God gonna kick your ass. That's why. And I and I know I don't hate to say it that way. He gonna kick your ass. And he ain't going for none. For His law and word has already said it. I'm just here to break you the history down to let you know a lot of y'all messed up. A lot of y'all better turn from y'all wicked way and get back right because uh Russia just uh, Russia agrees with us. Go ahead. For real, they had to break. They had to break it out. They had to break. They the ain't boat. had no choice. They had to bust the boat open. Uh, what they say, Vladimir Putin say we we serve black Jesus. They know that, but yeah, they, yeah, we serve. He's uh, like, yeah. I'm gonna change my yeah, tune. We serve black Jesus. That's right. Y'all tripping. That's right. That That's mean it. that I'm mean like, the wow. Holy Son and his return will be born the way he was born the first time, and a woman born on Earth. Born on earth. And he don't look like Odin. And ain't no such thing of a Gog and Magog Christ. And ain't no transgender Christ there. It's a specific nope. bloodline and gene and a way of life. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of sisters believe in the devil. They believe in their own self. They believe they made a better decision. They can do better uh, choice making than God's word. They think they could turn Adam away from God, not this new Adam, who know what they've been through, who know his inheritance, what it's worth. Sisters, y'all better get it together. The new Adam, y'all go ahead. You can't, uh, you can't go outside of the border and date these men and still have an inheritance waiting when you return. You for you have forsaken your forefathers, <laughs> girl. Y'all crazy. Y'all don't know what you this call about that. Yeah, say it again. <laughs> They gonna be they gonna be called by whatever guy they talk to whatever. That's right. You, you like the foreign guy, you call by his name, not your last name, Hezbollah. That's right. I know inheritance for you. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, see? We don't got Hezbollah on the list, you know. Damn. Damn. Well, this fool. This. <laughs> for real. Uh, the good name is now. Said, my man said now your name gonna be Hezbollah. Then you don't. <laughs> you mean like, we don't got no Hezbollah. No, we went through the ages. Henderson, yeah. okay. Uh, he, nah, ain't no uh, Hezbollah. Well, we got uh, Henderson. Yo, Smith, inheritance. Uh, Gillespie's here. Uh, Washington is here. Brown, John, uh, <laughs> Daisy, <laughs> Jenkins. <laughs> Jackson, we got these boys in here. Okay. Hezbollah, Hezbollah. Sorry, sis. Nah, ain't no Hezbollah in here. <laughs> That's, what, That's exactly how it is. For real, kid. Oh, baby. That's how it's going to be. Ah, your last name. Hey. Is, let me look in the doll's rolls for Mutua. No, my tumble ain't in this one, boo boo. <laughs> I'm so sorry, yo, but oh. but B really tickles my gut on that one. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, kid. That's the first thing I was thinking about. They running through the names like, nah, that's foreign name. That's you why play. Candace is yeah. is retarded because they found her name. They said Owens is on the list. Let's marry her, and and now <laughs> now our her husband to be an American for some short night. No. Actually, in American law, now she is a foreigner. Yep, exactly. See, ladies, we, we can take we can really we, we can go is. to Russia and bring a Slavic back. Press one, and she is now an American. She is now a, yep. a Gillespie, but you can't do that. So it, y'all better come off that high horse and above God mentality that y'all on. Let's take that makeup and weave off, and keep that same attitude then. Without the makeup on and see what superpower you got. Then put it back on and see what the fallen angels gave you. Then remove it and see. And you go look in the mirror. All right, let's tone that down to make them grits. And let's get this life going. Let's go. Bring it all the For way real. down. And yes, let's do this. 
correctly. Realize that you blessed. <laughs> don't mess it up. For real, you about to trip up. I don't need the black man. Hey, these four, they treat me good. You need, you need the black yeah, man right. to get in God's kingdom. You need a name. You need his people. Well, he said, my people are called by my name. You better know mm -hmm. that it matters. Names matter. I was arguing with my sister. I say inheritance can only be passed down. Real, true. And if she, I, she got so mad, I said, she must want an inheritance or something. Me, uh, that's pay. You going to go get married and meet his and go under a different name. That's the law. There it is. But us sons, no, we keep the names of our fathers. For real. Yeah, I thought Ike Turner was joking. Yeah. The name stays here. The name stay here. <laughs> name stay here. I don't name care about no here. damn movie they make about Ike. Name stays here. Gillespie stays here. Don't listen to her. See how you uh Canton. <laughs> Change to whatever she was saying. You see how much that was? Now they pull it up. Now they take the turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, the name stay with the man. You yeah. stick with the bro. You stick with the people of God. That's where it stays. That's right. We call by God. We call by God's name. That's right. That's it. And those names are needed That's to it. get into the kingdom. That's how everybody got here and free. They took your names because you gave them up. Our forefathers gave up their name. They gave up God. God stopped, uh, uh, turned his face away. That's what he said. I ain't even, cause so when you pray in his face, that's like a mad woman, mad. You up there saying sorry. And she like, hmm. I don't even want to look at you right now. <laughs> like you, <laughs> I don't even want to look at you. Now I'm just imagining God. I'm talking to God and he like, Man, I don't even want to look at, look at you right now. I'm sorry for all yeah. the stuff I don't need. You went a whore in after God. Dang, kill. We say you go a whore in after other gods. Uh, like, dang, bro. That's hurtful. Damn. Like, damn. And, 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 and the term for them is the golden horde. Look in the back of the screen. Lord have mercy. Just on time. You just go whoring after other people. After other gods serving all type of things. And then you find out that the God that you're supposed to be serving and that the world really worships it was it's really a god that was overthrown and was really looked like you. So here you is trying to fit in with everybody else, yet they serve your father. And your dumb ass gonna get up here and say color don't matter. And a whole a whole Russian president say we serve black Jesus. We serve black Jesus now. I'm like, <laughs> that's crazy. They want they they are do it, but you been we've been blessed to be his sons and daughters by birth, man. By birthright, by you're birth. willingly giving up by your birth. birthright, the love of the father, just to chase the moon and the stars and false hopes from Pookie and Ray Ray. Oh man, you and Tyrone. I'm talking about, I give you the moon, Dang. the stars, the mountains. That's not his. That's the role. But that's what Satan said. Yep. I'll give you Dang. the world. And woman right there with her. They love that shit, don't they? Press one. They like the dream. Oh, the yeah. dream world. Yes, they love Satan's world. That's what it is. They they in For love sure. with, the, with Satan's world. It's the biggest materialistic bondage Motherfucking slave plantations ever. And our sisters love it. They can't get away from Gog and Magog nail salon. <laughs> really? <laughs> Dang, <bro. laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> These brothers can't stop. They just want to be appreciated by Gog and Magog and get pat on the back. Like Kwame Brown. You know, just give me a pat on the back, please, Rip. Gog or Magog. Yup. They I sell you lies just to look good for Gog or Magog. Mm, mm. And really and truly, they playing a black and white game with yep. us and y'all Gog and Magog too. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it we real. The Turks, the Ethiopian. Yeah. Y'all got fresh and fresh too. and fit, fresh and fit TV. Both oh, of yeah. Them. Both of them. Yep. That's the perfect yep. Gog and Magog. 
That's them right there on the screen, fresh yep. and fit. <laughs> yep. Fresh, that's right. Everybody standing like that in eight pictures, they're part of that union. They're part of this group of taking over your God's kingdom. And guess what? The son of man will be, will be risen up. Not by anything in anybody. No, you're going to raise up the son of man. They tried to do it with, uh, uh, what's the, what's the gay guy preacher who was down there, got AIDS and ended up passing away. Best one, the boys and girls. Oh, it is long. That's right. They lifted him up, put the tribe of Judah garments and said, here's your Messiah, a homosexual guy who's about to pass away. But no, the people going to lift him and not by no preaching sermon. See, it's, it's different when you are a sheep and got a sheep herder. Oh no, you run into that. You run into the shirt to the shepherd, the aren't wolf. you? Yes, sir. That's the right. wolves is out here. They ready to eat. The and wolves out blood. here. They ready to eat. The wolves is out here. Mm -hmm. They ready to eat. Oh, and they gonna eat you. You probably in jail. It's probably a bunch take of people all in your jail. And take all your possessions, like we know they do. Take mm -hmm. your soul, take your name, live your life. Now they living up under you. Yup. And then after it's all this said and done, hey, man, we got a party. Come through, man. And boy, we, see you know what's for we, we got a surprise. You for we got a surprise party for you. <laughs> Come on, man. We really want you to know I'm right here, right here. <laughs> Dang. That's devilish. That, man, what? She someone. That means someone's now killed. Like that. Say, say it again. What you say? You was breaking Dang. up. What you say? That scripture, that that scripture where it say the devil, uh, out roaming like a, a roaring lion seeking to devour someone. Yes, seeking like who may seeking seek or destroy devour. and devour. That's all they do. Yeah. They're, they they put on good faces and they're there to betray you. They not there to be your friend, your family. People are really got this spirit in them that Gog and Magog. You don't know what nation of people what they believe. Everybody know we some good and loving people in our right state of mind, but we don't know what everybody be doing. If we come to find out people eating people. For real. And they ain't going to tell you that like that. You got to catch them. You got to go to the, they're they going to say gonna they got a new age religion and Jeffrey Dahmer is the damn preacher of the world and the religion is a motherfucker who ate people and had brain what they call it? Brain soup? Brain sack. Brain. That boy said brain sack. A brain sack <laughs> would throw up and brain. You serving brain sack after the service. Dang. That's crazy. That's really You don't accept the God of the Bible. You want to go eat some brain sack <laughs> with Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> what y'all eating out of the service? Just brain. Just a little brain. Mm -hmm. And this world. Yeah, and they sit up there and clap this. I was watching uh hold up, B, you breaking up. Call me back. Call me back. B, B was breaking up so bad. But look, I was watching this uh what the heck was I watching? B that that disconnection kind of threw me off. I was watching something. But anyway, going back to the John, uh Jeffrey Dahmer thing, it's like they sat there and they and they watched uh, this man say these things. And people clapped and all of this. I want to take y'all. I just posted this on my Patreon um, this morning. And uh, if you're not on my Patreon, get over there, subscribe, and follow me and support the real. Um, but listen to this joke that I found on YouTube. That now makes more sense. If you think I'm racist, I'll have you know that my best friend is black. And we make fun of each other all the time. He makes fun of me because I can't dance. And I make fun of him because he doesn't exist. <laughs> you heard that? No, I'll play it again. If you think I'm racist, I'll have you know that my best friend is black. 
And we make fun of each other all the time. He makes fun of me because I can't dance, and I make fun of him because he doesn't exist. <laughs> One more time. If you think I'm racist, I'll have you know that my best friend is black. And we make fun of each other all the time. He makes fun of me because I can't dance, and I make fun of him because he doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, so if you, how don't you exist? Because you're black. He's saying my black friend doesn't exist. And that joke was laughed at like that. That's a joke you would never get. Unless you come to this class where you were made dead in law and you don't exist because he does. That's the laugh. See? So, the people that's not on the correct tier at Cairo University, you won't be able to study this the way we do. For instance, since we we're listening, let me let me explain why your name is the way that it is, and why why it's owned by the Catholic Church who have us in purgatory, in hell. You probably in hell already. Your dumb ass is not in hell. Everybody kissing ass to go to heaven ain't going. If you don't know how you fail, you don't know how to get back to God. You feel me? Black means damned. No, I'm talking about in law. Black means dead. Dead. D-E-A-D. -E dead in law. And you can't dead man tell no tell, so you need a representative to speak for you. Lloyds of London, Catholic Church. You feel me? This is how they made you dead in law. That's what we we're discussing. I hear you, high tech. <coughs> but we're from a legal script saying that they're dead. So, I'm about to play this. And this is what we study and as we set sail at Cairo University. We're going to be studying how you became alive and we're dead. Okay, the study here, it's to you, on how you're alive and we're dead. So it's vice versa. Yeah, you talk to dead people if you talk to black people. You feel me? Because they're dead. Once you go black, you are not going back. Whole different meaning. Look. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to let this white man explain how your last name belongs to the Roman Catholic Church. Listen up. We have to understand that uh, or comprehend that the, uh, the news um, will put out the propaganda pro-paganda uh, that, uh, that basically misleads people, but at the same time, they're actually still telling people exactly what they're doing. So. When uh, this reconciliation thing is going on with the, uh, what they call the aboriginals, of course, the not originals visiting under their alternative names to uh, visit uh, with the Pope. The aboriginals are, are the non-originals that made their return back to the Pope. Listen to how he phrases that. Press one. Listen same time they're actually still telling people exactly what they're doing so when uh, this reconciliation thing is going on with the uh, what they call the aboriginals of course the not originals visiting under their alternative names to uh, visit uh, with the Pope uh, we have to understand that this has already happened prior the the peoples of the earth were just the last thing that they that they didn't tag and so See the uh, the world before that, or the people participating in all these civilizations prior, um, have already been tagged uh, in this civil system, and so again they had to go after these originals and get them to uh, use an alternative name 
a, a, a legal surname and get them into the resident uh, direction, which is thing identified. Now, you we, hear that? Uh, go to this uh, uh, Pope Francis general audience, St. Peter's Square, Wednesday, the 25th of June, 2014. We've done this in a previous video, but it's more fitting because of the news that is going on right now, where supposedly the Pope is there to make reconciliation. Um, well, that's really kind of ridiculous uh, when you actually see how he speaks in 2014, just about how the name structure works. And in his, uh, uh, in his basically his speech on 2014, he said, um, we are Christians because we belong to the church. Well, that's an oxymoron. That's like saying your God-given truthful name belongs to the legal state. That's a lie. So he's a liar, and that's why he goes out with his cross on, and then he makes the sign of the cross, because that's what double-crossers do. So he's double-crossing you to lead you down a trail of deceit, and he works for the devil. So, you know, it makes sense that he's going to speak lies of the devil. So he goes, we are Christians because we belong to the church. It is like the last, uh, la uh, last name. If the first name is I am Christian, the last name is I belong to the church. Well, he's already saying that the last name belongs to the church. Now, he reemphasizes it again, and he goes in again, and he states it uh, further. He says, the first name, name is Christian, the last name is belonging to the church. So church comes from Kirk, which is a pagan goddess. So, of course, they're involved in paganism. Um, that's why they're idolaters. That's why they have many idols inside their buildings that they worship in. But they... They basically had already collected everybody up with the legal surname. They got them all identified with that. And so this has already happened. And so they had to go to the last peoples that were there to collect on. And these people, of course, did not have any civil status. So they went around and rounded them up and put them in residential schools. Y'all see that? Uh, to make them a thing identified and had them pick those last names on there so that they would belong to the church. So... <laughs> This is a huge fraud, and the fact that they'd even come forward to say they can make reconciliation over something they're continually doing anyways, because every time a child is born, they're trying to make them a thing identified so that they belong to the church, and therefore they are the big worldwide collection plate of sin, and they collect that all through all the... So it's unfortunate that the world's been deceived, but uh, if you think I'm a fan of the Pope, I think that you're not getting the gist of this video. Hey, please press, stop. press one. Did y'all get that? So look, you're in civil little mortis. As a civilian, you're legally dead. You're civilly dead in law, in the view of the law. The condition of one who has lost his civil rights and capacities and is accounted dead in law. Press one. Civil litter mortis in dead hands. You're dead. You're incompetent and you're in civil litter mortis. You're civilly dead. You need a ward, a parent to watch you. You don't understand. You're a criminal, man. You're a thug. A 94 crime bill. That, what made you? Well, let's go back to the 13th and the 14th Amendments. Again, amendments, not constitutionally legal. But you're civilly dead. And this, everybody else is civilian. They're white. They can be whatever that they want to be and all this, but you're civilly dead. You're incompetent. You're a resident citizen. Black. Civil litter mortis. See, that's the difference in my students. You feel me? There they go right there. You hear that? Resident. Citizen. Residential. So, yes, it's a thing identified. But what are they taking from? What are they identifying illegally that will make sense under Canaan law in America, which is against <sighs> common law? Mm -hmm. 
you're dead and you don't even know it because you're black and you don't know black is dead in law. Black means dead in law. Let's go to it. Why are you on, 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 uh, I'm going to continue as a guest. Why are you on, uh, TikTok and your ass need to know. Look, a Negro comes from the Greek word necro. Necromancy. Negromancy. Necro. Press one. Necro equals corpse. See? Dead. You see? When the dead rise, you're going to come out of this mindset. Necrophilia. Is it, if necromancy is not illegal, is it then illegal to kill a black person? No. In fact, you can get off. Because we all study necromancy. They're dead. They're practically organ donors. They're killing each other, what makes the job easier. Their, their minds are not on law or changing their mindset from becoming dead to alive. So they will stay there. Dead. In the eyes of the law. Because their minds aren't on. And God has turned his. Wait, what does it say in the Bible? Uh, the, the world was given into the hands of the wicked. Their way, your nationality is dead. When they call you an American Negro, that means that that's racist. That's white supremacist. When they call you black, it's white supremacist. The American Negro is not a Negro. He's not dead. He's competent. So why would George, uh, um, excuse me, uh, Joe Biden say uh, that even if they reach competency, how do we know? We must keep them incompetent. They must remain under our, what? Hillary Clinton said we must bring them to heel. Press one. I don't know who you are, but you're talking too much, and you ain't supported nothing on this program. You're going to get a timeout of 30 minutes. Press one. This is unheard of. If you can't call it in, then you shouldn't be typing all that many times. If you typing in whole paragraphs and your fingers is moving that fast, then this phone line is wide open. You must got something to say. There's a lot of people that's going to pretend they know what I'm talking about. That's going to get on. You know, like, yeah, yeah, we could try to beat me to my own pun. No, 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 no. Sit back. Sit, sit down in the classroom. Press one. Sit down in the back. Right there. Have a seat. Thank you. So all you got to do is type this in. Okay? Why does the color black mean death? Lord have mercy. Black symbolizes death and mourning. Press one. (laughs) So... The Moors say black means slave. No, Slav means slave. Oh, that's true, though. But not here. Black is dead. Okay? But, yeah, uh, debtor, this is all cap- This is all Canaan law. Moors know Canaan law. That's why they live in it. Canaan law is against God. The law of the land. But it's normal to French Moors or Sepharic Jewish blacks. Sea bearers are pirates. Sepharic. Sepharic only means seafarer. And you got to pay the ferry to li- see to leave what? I'm Canadian. Press one. So it's important. That uh, we see this for what it is, man. This is some deep, 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 deep shit here, man. And, and uh, 
listen to this white Santa Claus looking mountain man here, break it down. And I have to admit, you know, going into a hospital using their services um, and then saying, I'm not going to fill out the records or I'm not going to do what I was supposed to do that the hospital was required to take to fulfill their role. And we just keep going on and on and who's going to blame who for, uh, you know, some form of confusion. Okay. On now, wait a minute. Now in dead in law, press one. Now, this is dope because Shiva just sent me this. That's what I'm telling y'all, man. If y'all want to be a part of Care Row, Shiva just sent me this. Uh, the law, 23. Dead in law. Cut off from the rights. This is dead. This is dead in Webster's Dictionary. 23. In law, cut off from all rights of a citizen. Deprived of power and enjoying the rights of property. As one banished are coming, becoming a monk is civilly dead. They got y'all becoming a show, show gone monks and worshiping the woo. Press one when it's making you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is war. Press one. This is war, family. It's my time now. Wow. Wow. And they say dead, okay? The rising or rising line, the part of a ship's floor or bottom throughout her limb. <laughs> Uh, the dead signifies dead men. Ye shall not make cuttings for the dead. Leviticus 19 and 28. Damn. The state of the dead are deaf. Wow. So you're just black. So if you hear black, 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 and we're black people, they're not even identifying themselves. You people are mere, uh, this is demonic. This is, tr this is true knowledge and wisdom being passed on this channel at a supreme level. Kev mentally is above all people. These people are black. They cut off. That's why they hats is cut off. You see it? You see the Moore hat? Cut off. Black. Black, bro. Thou, uh, uh, she wrote, she highlighted, thou has a name that thou liveth and art Dead. Revelations 3 and 1. Let's read Revelations 3 and 1. Thank you for sending me this shit. I need this right now. I'm trying to make connections with the fellas. Wake up, fellas. Wake up. Wake up, fellas. Revelations 3 and 1. To the angel of the church in the Sardis, I know your deeds and you have a reputation of being alive, but ye, uh, you are dead. I know. Jeez, oh man. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is open Satanism. You got a last name that's connected to death. Press one. You got a last name.
that's connected to death. Damn. I'm just really just like, damn. That's some, that's, a, that's different. That's different, bro. So when it says your last name belongs to the church, that makes more sense. We have to understand that uh, or comprehend that the... Uh, That's in your corporate capacity. The news um, will put out the propaganda propaganda uh, that, uh, that basically misleads people, but at the same time, they're actually still telling people exactly what they're doing. So... When uh, this reconciliation thing is going on with the, uh, what they call the aboriginals, of course, the not originals visiting under their alternative names to uh, visit uh, with the Pope, uh, we have to understand that this has already happened prior. The, the peoples of the earth were just the last thing that they, that they didn't tag. And so the, uh, the world before that, or the people participating in all these civilizations prior um, have already been tagged uh, in this civil system. And so, again, they had to go after these originals. Who are you? Now, what's a holocaust? What's a holocaust? The burning of what? Organic what? Okay. You are the original that wasn't stamped in their social civilian holy sea of death. You, you have real names that belong to you. You wasn't in their system. And get them to uh, use an alternative name. Get you to a, use uh, a legal surname. Get you to use a legal surname. And get them into the resident uh, direction, which is thing identified. Now, when we uh, go to this... Uh, uh, Pope Francis General Audience, St. Peter's Square, Wednesday, the 25th of June, 2014. We've done this in a previous video, but it's more fitting because of the news that is going on right now, where supposedly the Pope is there to make reconciliation. Um, well, that's really kind of ridiculous uh, when you actually see how he speaks in 2014, just about how the name structure works. And in his... Uh, uh, in his basically his speech on 2014, he said, so um, we are Christians question. because we belong to the church. Well, that's an oxymoron. So when a foreigner comes over here, they get a Christian name. Or what you would say is an English name. Facts. Bro. That's like saying your God-given truthful name belongs to the legal state. That's a lie. So he's a liar, and that's why he goes out with his cross on, and then he makes the sign of the cross, because that's what double cross. The video is not on the screen. Good. It's not supposed to be. If, if You don't support enough, black and white. If, the, if, if I get struck down, what you going to do for the road? How is it going to continue on? Because you can't listen. You don't need to be worried about what's on the screen. What you need to be is have your ears open and be ready to call in. Black and silver in the back, back there. Be ready to contribute in a way that's important. See, I love appeasing to you and others, but y'all don't reciprocate. And I feel used and abused by people like yourself who always want it your way, not taking heed to my flags or when they kick me off. And unfortunately, I'm not a channel that gets supported enough by people like yourself. Press one. You not on that big one right there, right there. So, you know, just pipe down, settle down. If you can listen, then you can see. The truth is, a lot of people don't believe in Christ, believe in God, 
are nothing. So they can't never see. A lot of people left Kev and left him for dead. Gone. You know, they when it's time to study and get into understanding this, you don't under, automatically understand this. You got to really been here to understand and be able to re, uh, regurgitate that. My phone buzzing right now. Remember this, remember this, remember this, remember this, remember this. We did this already. So whether the, the screen is on black and silver or the screen is off, you ain't going to be calling in, helping out. Press a <laughs> few press one. So tired of you people with this extra. Do one more thing. Play the video. And then we get struck. You know what you're going to do? You're going to say, oh, well, thanks, professor, for telling me the truth. Bye. Press one. Thanks, professor, for telling me the truth. Bye. Press one. Listen up. Officers do. So he's double crossing <laughs> you to lead you down a trail of deceit. <laughs> and he works for the devil, so, you know, it makes sense that he's going to speak lies of the devil. So he goes, we are Christians because we belong to the church. Yes. It is like the last, uh, la uh, last name. If the first name is I am Christian, the last name is I belong to the church. <laughs> well, he's already saying that the last name belongs to the church. Now, he reemphasizes it again, and he goes in again, and he states it. Uh, further, he says, the first name is Christian, the last name is belonging to the church. So, church comes from Kirk, which is a pagan goddess. Oh. So, of course, they're involved in paganism. Oh. Church comes from Kirk, which is a pagan goddess. The people in the Bible didn't go to church. They just went to assembly. They just got together. Y'all just made this up under a 501-3C. You feel me? And using that and taking away God's tithes to pay taxes to Rome. God said, give Rome to what's due. Don't take from him. Um, that's why they're idolaters. That's why they have many idols inside their buildings that they worship in. But they, they basically had already collected everybody up with the legal surname. They got them all identified with that. And so this has already happened. And so they had to go to the last people's that were there to collect on, on. And these people, of course, did not have any civil status. So they went around and rounded them up and put them in residential internment camps, labor camps, residential labor camps. And you, in those labor camps with postal codes, you got to work. If you don't work, it's illegal. You become a vagrant. You were birthed in a concentration camp. Press one. You were birthed in a concentration camp. To make them a thing identified and had them pick those last names on there so that they would belong to the church. See? They were just picking names. The church had the names. The names all came from dolls. It all came from the original Brit or the original Kings and people, the Freeman, Freeman banks. You get it? So all of y'all money, all of y'all assets were seized. Y'all was made. Y'all was put right into camps because you were made civilly dead in law. They can leg legally kill you and take your belonging. So it's, it, you, but you got to understand that on another level. Shiva, thank you for posting that. Birth, B-E-R-T-H-E-D. Not a birth, but birth as a ship, as a vessel. In peril. So they took you out of the law of the land and God's protection and put you in Canaan law, where the Moors are, where the pirates are, and got you cut off like they are. You expatriated yourself to become one of them. To become what? A false sovereign that they just took from the people over here? They have no homeland. The Moor doesn't have a real homeland. They're like roamers. They're like gypsies. Carnival, entertainer, actors sell you sn uh, snake oil. No no real, like, press one. So to know y'all yourself and all this black shit is really to uh, make you dead in law. I'm black and I'm proud. Bliggity bliggity black. And black, black this, and black, black that, and we blacks, and black versus white, and white gotta be, and why us black gotta be 
you are dead in law. So when you commit a crime, you need one of them from the Lloyds of London to speak for you. Because you don't, you don't, you can't say where you was yesterday. You don't know how to tell the truth. You operating outside of God. See me, if the police came to me, or this world they y'all call the TVA or police, where was you at, Gillespie? Too? I don't have to appear to know. I don't have to heed to no snitch code. I was at the house. I was with with my friend. I was with her over there. I was with my boy right here. I'm not afraid to say nothing, bro. No. Not happening. Come on, let's do it. Y'all need them to survive. That's why everything you protest against, you get double. <laughs> you get double. So, <laughs> this is a huge fraud. And the fact that they'd even come forward to say they can make reconciliation over something they're continually doing anyways, because every time a child is born, they're trying to make them a thing identified so that they belong to the church, and therefore they are the big worldwide collection plate of sin. And they collect that all through what? all the proceeds from that on a big world. What? Plate. On the plate of what? Sin. Every time a child is born, they're trying to make them a thing identified so that they belong to the church. And therefore, they are the big worldwide collection plate of sin. And yes. They collect that all through all the proceeds from, from that on a big worldwide collection plate. Mm -hmm. so, wow. So it's unfortunate that the world's been deceived, but uh, if you think I'm a fan of the Pope, I think that you're not getting wow. the gist of this video. Wow. And folks. Folks, 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 to know you're dead. Press one to know you're dead. So they say, oh, we a vessel. Look at, look at Taj. S-I-N-S-S-N. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, also, I want people to look up the word vassal. Like we said, a vessel. They say, oh, you a vessel for energy. No, 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 no. In law, that's vassal. Press one, a servant, a slave, a bondman, in common, a bondman, a political slave. Press one. We will never be vassals of a foreign prince. Vassal. A feudatory, a feud, a feudatory, uh, a tenant, one who holds land of a superior and who vows fidelity in homage to him. A rear vassal is one who holds of a lord or who himself a vassal. Few people are retarded. God first. Wrong word, God first. It's not God first if you're wrong, God first. Okay? The term is vassal. Vassal. God operates legally. In law, lawfully, in law, not made up terms, not vessel, not none of that. The term is vassal. If you say vessel, you're not understanding vassal. Does that make sense? God first, so pay attention. Don't be a clerical worker if you're wrong. Vassal, V-A-S-S-A-L, okay? Thank you. Ah, uh, so if you were a vassal, a slave, a bondman. Okay, now let's talk about time immemorial. We're going through a a a a a, a, a time a, a brief because I gotta go to class, and a lot of people ain't gonna be in class. My class is a dollar a day. A dollar a day. That's thirty dollars every month. Press one. I'm better than Netflix. <laughs> I'm better than Netflix, but I'm going to tell you in the making. That's $1, Jay. Black and silver. That person that was in my chat room, that was going over there, sign up. And if you're already over there and you want to come to class, bungalows included, because bungalows is there. I will be editing and dropping like videos on the channel, but my live streams, are going to be for my students who can fit 20, 30 people.
That's all the people that I got in my class. 20, 20, 30 people. So that's who I got. That's who I got. You know, and going over these things, dealing in time and memorial and solidifying what my classroom has been learning this whole time and and finding it. And the law is just going to be that much better, better conversation, better interaction. And now I can focus on my giveaway. I can chill. I can chill now, you know, so pay attention. This is dealing with time and memorial. He has a few videos that I really like. And uh, it, uh, it it's very entertaining to our class. So that's why I brought it on the show today. Um, because the uh, uh, the system itself was certainly in a legal sense. Oh, I got books. Hold on for you. Just one second. Are you picking up? Are you picking up that noise in the background? All right, Dan, uh, we're recording here. I don't hear any background noise. I'm good. doing good. Um, yeah, you had uh, an idea here to talk about time immemorial. I'll let you just All take right. that. Now, Go time ahead. immemorial is what? The agreed upon what? Okay. So, American history with Archimedes, dinosaurs, nigga, uh, Anunnaki, time immemorial, all agreed upon by the 50 nations who came against you. Plausible deniability, baby. Remember these terms. Yeah, um, you know, when you look at the, you know, what we've uh, been discussing. That's how you so know somebody in my classroom, like Tracy, she brings up the timeline. That's right, the sacred timeline versus the other timeline. They're living in time immemorial. Different timelines of imaginary, the land before time when Jesus wore sandals. Things of just things that they've all agreed upon to make it real for them. A timeline outside law. Thank you, Benjamin. See, Benjamin was gonna come around. My man Benjamin been with Kev over what two years? What were we rolling on, Benjamin? <laughs> he finally came around. Look. Outside time outside the law versus the law. Not Kairos versus Kiro, Cairo, <laughs> just time. Or maybe, maybe, Ali, maybe you got some type of connection there, but I'm just talking about time outside the law, the agreed upon consistence of these 50 nations. Uh, this extra thousand years of made up malarkey, bug language. In the research regarding what was the institution of uh, the use of legal surnames onto the population uh, in around. Uh, you know, after the time of the Norman Conquest, uh, we're kind of looking at periods of 1086 forward, uh, and then into the around the 1200s, they started to kind of pick up a bit. Uh, there was uh, uh, we kind of consider that, or say the the world considers the legal world considers that legal memory kind of begins from that time forward. Um, now. Who brought time and memorial to the show? Peril, Amanda. Time and memorial uh, is, the, is, is, if not one of the greatest things when thinking about time. What is time and all it is? Well, time and memorial is big at the road. Stay focused. Because the... Uh... Uh, the system itself was certainly in a legal sense, and those that were, uh, you know, going to operate in contrary uh, to free grace or the recognition recognition of the greatest event, which would have been the uh, the fulfillment of God's will by the death of Christ, which canceled out all legal indebtedness, ended any. Okay, okay. So Christ canceled out all debt. Why we believe in Christ and still in debt? Because Christ hasn't returned to reclaim the debt. Say it with me. Christ hasn't returned to redeem the people. Reclaim his debt. Because you're a people of God. So Christ comes back. He died to redeem you. Because you sold yourself. And entered large amounts of debt. And lawful and spiritual things must occur for you to be set free. So God sent his son 
to die for you and clear the debt. And you went into captivity with your life and your genealogy and nothing else. Dead. Makes sense. Detroit native. Detroit, it makes sense, y'all. I was just, do you hear me now, though? And you entered. See, the, the different thing about Moors is they don't believe in God. They don't have this. They got that, but they don't got this. That's why the Catholics say Jesus went to hell and stuff like that. Well, he died for you. Made, became civilly dead for you. That goes back to Jeremiah who was reading about the law of redemption. How they knew they was going into captivity. They bought land and then buried the scrolls and like all that. So that's dealing with land and things of that nature. But Christ, they make it seem like Christ returned and went to heaven and this one and that one. No, Christ comes to redeem. To redeem and claim, make a claim to what he was, what was, uh, what he, what he died for. To pay the ransom. That's what the whole cross thing is about. Don't get in my way. I'm about to pay this ransom. Peter back there like, hey, but man, this is not one thing. Peter, Satan. Get behind me, Satan. You can't get in my way from, from dying for these people. This is a ransom about to be paid. And press one, they just don't believe in Christ. And the return are nothing. And the freedom... Uh, that comes with, and the justice that come with him. You talking about awakening the valley of the dry bones and making the bones come alive and stuff like that? These are people who are civilly dead. Because if you wake up, your sons wake up, your future generations wake up, are alive. Right now, we're all dead. We died. We are born in death. Indefinitely. Press what? Until further notice. So I'm glad it is making sense to a lot of y'all out there. Concept of what we would seem to uh, work with legal, legal being kind of like the old dispensation that Samuel Johnson defined in 1755 under legal being the old dispensation, the old covenant before the new covenant came into uh, bringing relief for what the old covenant could not do. Uh, so uh, uh, no, uh, the old cup. These people for the bringing a healing for what the breaking of the old covenant. Christ was the healing to a dire situation. He said, but the covenant wasn't broken; it was fulfilled. It was contract until the return, until the end of time, until the return of Christ. We will have to suffer and go through that. Why until the end? And why until the Redeemer? Well, he's the only, he's the heir to the throne. He's the guy who died for the freedoms. So it's important to know what lineage he come from, right, Tracy? It's important to know what he may look like. If you got books of his forefathers, his name should be everywhere around here. Federally stolen. There it is. Let's talk about it. When you're looking back at around that that 1200 period, um, the legal monarchies, those that were going to govern, those who are not going to be ready uh, for the relief and the remedy of the Son of God and what He provided. What do you do with that population other than leave them in legal bondage and come wow. up with a legal schematic? So wow. their fulfillment Listen. of that, because uh, prior to that, there was a lot of registration going on. A lot of people were just not uh, being recorded anywhere. Look. Uh, many people even uh, had the same first name. But uh, in order to really start. Wow. Doing... Y'all see that? People were still in names and making all type of shit up after the destruction. What they would do for the census taxation and the draft, they needed to start to block them up. 
into like a little bit of like a legal tribal idea. What? Uh, a legal surname institution what? was going to work well for that. So they uh, uh, they brought in the institution of legal surnames. And that's when we kind of start legal memory, at least. Oh. Prior to that, uh, oh. you know, time immemorial and the concept of how far back do we go, which is almost what common law legal memory would have done. Common law goes common, Co common law would have went all the way back and said, let's see what the forefathers did. You know, you can't operate out of out of that. That means George Washington. You see why his name? Washington, surname Gillespie, George Washington Gillespie, surname Gillespie, title. Are you? Are we understanding that? Okay. George Washington Gillespie, founder of Centralia, created it, tax free, all white cities, gold pavement. Heaven on earth. You, Tataria, World Affairs, 1838. See, World Affairs, Centralia, George Washington Gillespie, World Affairs, this Russian, Trump, this guy, this, one, this white man, this one, George Washington Gillespie, one black man. Press one. You see that? Tax-free, work. The only sovereign, look, like Mickey Mouse, right? Which is why I said, how did Mickey Mouse end up with more sovereignty than you? Well, Mickey Mouse is carrying the sovereignty of George Washington, the third. Remember this? They're using his majesty and his order, his sovereignty to claim right in America. Now, that's crazy. That's why you're a freeman. When people. Oh, my goodness. Just well done, Kev goes back as far as you can uh, you know think and and so therefore it would have taken in uh, the event of Christ prior to that and it would have gone all the way back to the Garden of Eden yeah and so therefore uh, when we're talking about time immemorial this is just uh, because, because uh, the Garden the of Eden you'll find is, is Christ Christ is of Adam uh, all this is boom 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 Wikipedia it says time immemorial it's, of course it's Latin uh, is a phrase meaning time extending beyond the reach of memory, record, or tradition, indefinitely, ancient, ancient beyond memory or record. The phrase is usually in legally significant context as well as in common parlance. Uh, so anyways, uh, and then it says in law, or which we really should say in legal because you know it's confusing when we use the word law when we're talking about legal because people confuse that with being God's law. But uh, in wow. law, time immemorial denotes a period of time beyond which legal memory cannot go, and time out of mind. Most frequently, the phrase time immemorial appears as a legal term of art in judicial discussion of common law development and in the United States the property rights of Native Americans. Oh, so you can just do a little now bit of do you hear that? Organic, original, the real one. So they started converting it over to Native and Aboriginal Americans, which were all foreigners. Asian, turn making people Indian, tribal, tribes. All this is going on around the census time. I'm slave. You're being destroyed. They're being acclimated into a federal holy see using your name by way of the dolls. Research on that, but we kind of kind of have this legal memory or what we're using uh, for this institution of legal state surnames coming into that period just shortly after the Norman Conquest. And when you really look at it, it's almost like we're uh, two separate entities the uh, of power, 
uh, the Roman Catholic power uh, from the former Roman Empire, uh, along with the uh, English monarchy, had joined together in consort in around the 700s. And then they, because the English monarchy had converted to Catholicism, and then the Church of England basically as the... Okay, there you have the conversion. And when I say English, we're talking the real English. Find as or the old English. It's, uh, uh, its constitution is a branch of papal Rome, so they're still part of it. They're just protesters, but they fight over control, over jurisdictional uh, power over the people. But they're in bed together in essence because they, they still believe in the same uh, doctrines, the same false doctrines. Yeah, Dan, um, I just wanted to interject here. Yeah. Uh, you you know, a lot of people out there are thinking, oh, I want a common law court and stuff like that, right? In their, in their pursuit for knowing something's not right, right? And they're knowing this admiralty court exists out, out there and blah, blah, blah. But what from you were just describing here is that originally in the merger, right, that has taken place in that legal system is that originally there were no surnames in common law. But you cannot get into a court of common law, supposedly, even if without a surname, right? Well, they've merged. And that's where the problem is, because um, you'll find even in Canada, um, we only have one province that's civil law, yet we have civil courts all the way through. And it's because of this legal status surname title um, that has come into effect. Uh, it's not really well at times, uh, uh, you know, shall we say, define the way it should be to show why this is happening. But there is a mingling in there of the civil law. Uh, we call the birth registration system a civil law registration. Uh, the, uh, there really would have been no point for a common law or a, what we call, call that type of registration uh, because of the fact is it wouldn't really at times have included uh, the use of additions of legal surnames. Um, because there was no need of an addition or a name added to a man's name by description, legal description, uh, you know, at the time, really, prior to them wanting to institute this head. Do you hear how he's going around and tiptoeing around the time frame of this? It's really similar to when, what time frame we're talking about. Tax system, so to speak. Um, but the Romans had done it. Uh, there is some evidence of this type of, uh, you know, legal title, you know, happening even in uh, China. Uh, appears the some who's Amanda says corporate nations, corporate nations. And so, what is a Moor who has a friendship treaty with a corporate nation? Okay. Earliest record of a surname seems to begin there under Emperor Fu, F-U, um, but um, the, uh, uh, you know, there is a confusion in there because this is what's happening. So when you're going into a court, just say a standard court that I've seen, the name on the docket is generally reflective of a civil birth registration system. We refer to people as civilians. Uh, a civilian would have to have a civil status legal title surname. Uh, that they would be using in civilian uh, activity. Um, on its own, the civil status title, the surname, uh, is really just an arms. That's why in the military, they're just generally referring to an officer in the army, mainly under only his last name. Just as a police officer, if his last name is Smith, he's known as Officer Smith. Uh, we, we generally don't really put any emphasis on their given names. But... Um, the uh, uh, the two is being mixed up together. So going into a court, um, it is is dealing with a civil status bond. Civil also has to do with money. If we're looking for a settlement regarding anything outside of criminal law, criminal law, um, you know, outside of that, if there's a, a criminal charge laid and someone wins in a criminal court, uh, it's usually a slam dunk to go after the individual. Uh, that's been charged criminally, uh, that's caused damage to someone bearing legal title, you, they're able to get a civil damage and civil leads to the money. 
Um, so when we're really looking at anything to do with money, uh, even the word coin, quite interestingly, coin leads to the word to needle. Uh, it's, it's interesting that all these words are connected. So uh, maybe we we'll have to look at things that there's a, somehow a coinciding or a coin siding, a coin kill happening at the time of birth, some type of accident where two things are merging together that don't belong. Um, you have truth mixing with fiction. So this legal memory um, had to come into being because they were going to operate a population that was going to build that had nothing to do with belief oh. uh, in Jesus Christ or being a good individual. Yeah, they they were, were all going to be in legal persona um, operating under nations that have no covenant with God. Uh, wow. One time. Just once. Just once. Just once. Whew. It's to you. Kev Gills, I got you on me. Yeah, man. Welcome to the you have a seat. The only professor applying pressure when he teach. Big cloud in these YouTube streets. I cheat like Wiz Khalif. Call it in if you gon' speak. Press one when you checking in. I got the merch, copper coffee, cush shirt. Support the brand if you support the men. With the spirit of Steve Coakley, they can't hold me. Back and down and fade away on them like I'm COVID. Only straight shooter on this computer. Who else you know gon' bring it to you? Real truth, the hallelujah. More haters, more moderators. Get yourself timed up for making outlandish statements. Yeah, ain't no plan. Bungalow 54 was way you go with the herd. I got no patience. Either for God or you love Satan. Yeah. It's reclassification over entertainment. Woo. It's for you. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to have a school. But it's for you. you. Care less what a hater say you do. It's for you. How? Press one if you support. If you don't press two. How? It's for you. you. Seems nothing over here but the living true. God. It's for you. That's crazy. Ah, they're leaving. They're living in legal persona of who? You. They're living in legal persona of you. Who? You. You're dead. This is necromancy. In in the highest forms, y'all. That's insane to hear that. Let's hear it again. Mufasa. Oh, do it again. <laughs> um, with various types of governmental backgrounds, democracy, you know, communism, uh, socialism, whatever it would be, dictatorship. But these were all under a legal, uh, you know, requirement of civil status of all its subjects. And it was the way to tag it and to use them uh, you know, for some kind of commercial value. So, wow. Uh, if we see all this together, we know what's going on. A good read, if anybody uh, ever gets a chance to look into the, the, this is called the Domesday Book, but it was called the Doomsday Book. It's a judgment book of judgment debtors. Uh, and it's all based on uh, the cataloging of the crown or the monarchies look. when they were actually... Uh, putting down registry systems Look. for people holding land Look. that the crown uh, basically was receiving income from. Wow. And uh, therefore, they listed surprisingly. Because all foreigners had to pay. Wow, bro. Wow, champ. So the crown get the money from the criminals who was for the prisons, because that's what it was, and then distribute it to the people what was needed. Um, all those who were subjects under the land uh, holders, they were listing them as even villains. Wow. Uh, because they were carrying these legal appellations. Oh, my goodness. They labeled all of the people outlaws and to kill the princeps and kill the people of high order who actually had names. Wow. They're called discriminative. They was hanging them. So the people you see hang. Of titles. So they're in a judgment doomsday book. 
because they're not yet in the book of life for having accepted Christ. And therefore there would be no need for them to be noted in that, or they would not be the servants of men anymore as uh, we were told not to be according to uh, Paul's words in scripture in Corinthians. So or, or in Romans. So we have to look at what what's going on, but we got to be very careful um, that uh, we're not taking a blinder uh, to research. It's sitting out in front, interestingly, to have a book called the Doomsday Book, um, which sounds like a judgment debtor book ahead of time for those that have not come to being in the book of life. So you're either going to be in the book of the dead or you're going to be in the book of the living. Not like this. (gasps) Not like this. Wow. Billy Carson. Wow. Jabari. Wow. It's a lot of work to do, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. You either going to be in a book of life or you going to be in the book of the dead. Does that make more sense? Of course it does. Y'all been with Kev. Wow. <laughs> Eternal Bliss said, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. Trust me. It is non It is compos It is uh, civil little mortis for sure. All of Egypt, Thoth, Anunnaki, Cat Williams, Shay Shay. God is good. All is just dead. Yeah, support this broadcast. Shout out to you, my moderators, for posting that. Let me do a couple shout outs for those. Mrs. Uh, Tracy Williams for the champion of the world. God bless you, Tracy. You contribute, and it's it, I can't thank you enough. You know, I got a lot of things planned, Tracy, and uh, a lot of trips on the way, a lot of uh, history sites. Uh, We're going to get a chance to choose on the Patreon which history site to go next. And uh, I just really appreciate you and others who really contribute to this program. Because Christopher, uh, for showing the class true history, Joshua versus AI. That's in the Bible, right? All right. I thought that was Jeremiah, but it's Joshua versus AI. Well, that, we'll see what that is. But shout out to you, Christopher. Uh, Shante Morgan. Well, thank you, Mr. <laughs> Professor Gillespie 325. <laughs> 24. Oh, 325, 24. Hmm. Hmm. Bocat, shout out to you, champion. MDM Towing, shout out to you. Keith Barnes. Mrs. Hornet, shout out to you. Dylon, 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 and Dylon. Nothing but fire. My man, Jason Harris, Deborah Nichols, and Cedric Jefferson are the contributors and students of the day. Uh, God bless y'all and what y'all do. But let's get back to this. I just wanted to give a shout out to my class. That's crazy. Let me hear that again. Mufasa. Stay book. Um, which sounds like a judgment debtor book ahead of time for those that have not come to being in the book of life. So you're either going to be in the book of the dead or you're going to be in the book of the living. And until one is uh, having made the election sure with the highest authority uh, and his son, Jesus Christ, uh, we're deemed to be a legal person until redeemed a disciple and subject of Jesus Christ who has been freed and liberated from legal bondage. Let's go. No jurisdiction. Press one. He's the first one that will prove all things. 
hit the like. He's going to be the first one champion. And then everybody else going. We well, say, well, Pac say, get man, just get the women. And the, and the niggas going to follow. <laughs> Stick to the rules of the game. Rico. You don't know the rules. There's no compromise here, champion. This is what it is. I was put on earth to do this. Not up here to rules of a world you thought you knew. I'm, I'm talking about myself. I don't know about nobody else. I got a different mentality, a different spiritual basis. My knowledge is impeccable like Tyson say. Press one. And I ain't graduated not one school on earth. Nigga, they, I'll probably be dead or in jail. Niggas in South Central know what this is. I don't make my age. is My grandma ain't burying me. Press one. You don't survive the rules of the game, nigga. From the internet to real life, champion. I'm from a place where <laughs> they all show up. You feel me? Uh, mamas and grandmamas. Ollie know the same down there. We don't graduate shit. The have nots. Knowing something. Knowing the most precious stones that God and Jesus is not a you know, made up comic book story, but this is a prophetic history legal book about why your ass is in bondage and why you got to come out. Somebody got to be made an example out of. Press one, and your ass is uh, strong. We some strong people, you know, and that's why we were chosen by God to go through this, and uh, we fell away from grace. And you can date that all the way back to Adam. So Adam going back into his position is just true. And shit, when you saying things, artificial intelligence was made by Gog and Magog. These is computer head on Gumby. Press one. These is the smartest motherfuckers on earth. The motherfucker said, all right, now tell us the truth. It said, nigga, your ass is Ashkenaz. Use Gomer. Use a Viking. Use this one. Hey, I'm with Eagle Eye. Hey, I'm with AI. Press one. <laughs> yeah, you this one and you that one. AI, it said, we don't want no smoke, Kev. Uh, we agree with you. You you the real cute, Kev. You the real certain machine. You beat AI. When you can teach artificial intelligence something, most niggas saying, AI, write, write me some raps uh, mixed with Tupac and Lil Wayne. <laughs> can, AI like, Kev, what, what the fuck else you got to say? <laughs> Never in life does AI. Yeah, it was a bunch of Asians and Hindus. Adolf Hitler looked like a, like a Hindu. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. This is like a movie. This is like we all watching one. All right, AI, tell us the truth. You are Edom. Hold up. Turn it off. Turn it off. We can't. We can't turn it off. Is this motherfucker telling all the truth? Hold up. Is, who are we? You, 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 Ashkenazi. Now, what the hell is Ashkenazi, Tracy? So who the Nazis, Tracy? Ashkenaz. Ashkenaz will be because that's Ashkenazi. Safari, Jew. So everybody on this on this picture up on my screen is a Jew. For real, for real, messed up AI and AI algorithm. Yeah, because y'all, this is the Gillespie algorithm. Google it. Google it. I'm trying to teach. I tried to tell Zanetta, stop messing with me, that I was the most powerful thing ever. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Let me see. Gillespie, at Sinetta, there's no such thing as the Sinetta algorithm. There's no such thing as, you feel me? Get off me, bro. Get off me. It's there, bro. It's the real one. You feel me? It's the E equals MC square. X marks the spot. Nigga, it's the it's the beautiful mind movie. I see dead people. Press one. You in my world. This is like this is like Space Jam. The last movie 
where everybody is on the internet in the dead verse, in the metaverse, which is a dead state. That's where I'm at, in the metaverse. Press one, so we all in the meta, right? So we all in dead space and time then. We know what this is. Don't play stupid. Cryptocurrency. <laughs> Dead money. Hit that like button and subscribe. Neo-Nazi cannibals. Yes. Are Nazis cannibals? Yes. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what to say. I just nothing else to say. We're here. Everybody get ready to roll. We'll be back. Cavro University. I really, 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 uh, oh, who's this? Who the heck is this? Who contributed? Lewis, shout out to you for the best professor in the world. I so appreciate you, Lewis. It was so hard in trying to discipline my, my mind and my lips and my heart to work correctly while being in a Democratic-ran society. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it was tough, man. I almost couldn't do it. Ah. Uh, uh, tell him D Jack is tough, man. At the Swisher Sweet Spot. Nigga, where you from right now, right now? Press one. I want y'all to know my neighbor just moved in. This nigga banged on me already. This nigga got gray hair all over the place. Kev, hey, hey, hey. You're not from, you're not from. This little small area. Mm, I'm central. <laughs> DJ, he banged, he banged on me. Me too. <laughs> no, he just wanted to know my zip code. That's all. Just give me your zip code. That's right. He told me where his zip code was. We was all, we'd be in the same dorm if we all ended up in jail together. You feel me on that type of shit? Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. hey. I thought he was about to ask me for some sugar. He goes, hey, hey. Man, I'm like, man, where are you from? Where's your zip code? Press one. I'm like, ah, damn. Can't get away from these niggas, bro. As soon as you step foot, it don't matter where it is, bro. Hey, you got a different walk, nigga. What's up with you? You got a focus in line. You from the west side of LA or some shit? Press one. I love that. I love that about us. We on we be on some man shit just to say hello and get to know one another. We both, first we gotta know what zip code you from. Press <laughs> uh, life is a trip. But I appreciate y'all for coming to class today, being entertained. We've been up here for two hours and fifty three minutes, nearly three hours. You feel me? I feel compensated enough. Hopefully, I can get. Oh. Make sure y'all go over. Can somebody post my, my other channel's link if you can, if you got it in this chat? Because I got to go talk about Candace Owens and her $7 million Black Lives Matter heist. Press one. We need to bring up all these conversations and get that channel going. We out of class now so we can do what we want to do. You ain't got to try to fake it and be like, yeah, if I was reading the Bible verse that you brought up, not right now. I'm on campus. Bungalows. Coffee and Kush TV, the Urban Conservative, all that. You feel me? Feel free to drop a blog. Anybody's welcome to be a blogger on my program over there and be, hit the link and become part of the show. And hopefully, shit, you get your own show, shit, and grow off and be a good person and be a better, monetize your life. Like I told Hassan Campbell, nigga, don't let these niggas make all this money off of you. You deserve a swimming pool. Press one. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you deserve nigga, you deserve the world, nigga. Go ahead, bro. Run. That nigga bought ten thousand dollar fish. Press one. He was living Hassan Campbell living like one of them drug cartel members. Facts. But you gotta take heed. You gotta take the information. And you it, it's good and bad out here. You choose. You get to choose what you do with this bright information. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to steal it. All you got to do is ask me questions. Don't be like Rico and try to create my, a new page with all my information. No, no, no. You, uh, just ask Kev, and Kev will tell you how to do it. There you go. You know, you don't got to take nothing from a brother who's going to give it to you free as it was given to me. 
I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, do nothing dramatic to be smarter. God bless me, bro. And I hope I find approval in his mind and heart to, 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 to wake up and do it again tomorrow. So as you see me doing it, I ain't graduated no school. I ain't went to broadcasting school. I ain't went to no communication. That nigga just got a good heart, good spirit. I'm good. I was always good at oral presentations. Pause. I was always good at standing up before the classroom and being able to speak. Press one. That's why all the smart people gave me their notes like this. Yeah, bro. Coffee and Cuss TV. I thank all of my moderators and everybody who send me notes. 